Hello and welcome to Critical Tumblr, where a bunch of longtime friends and nerdy ass Tumblr users transcend geography through the power of Skype to play Dungeons and Dragons and critically fumble a lot. Unfortunately, Nora, who unfortunately Nora, our human paladin, uh, played by Galley, cannot be with us today. But uh, let's just hope that yeah, we we luck out the way we did with uh, with Clarity last time, and she doesn't miss anything that she uh, might desperately uh, want to have been there for. Uh, previously, the group known as the Cupcake Coterie were still trying to uh, establish themselves and figure out how they were going to go about um, fighting this unfortunate evil that they tripped over in the middle of Star Coast while they were just trying to get their poor brand new uh, human bard friend Darwin paid. Um, they have been sojourning the last couple of days in the little town of Goldendale, uh, the home of Hazel, our half-elf cleric, and her entire uh, family of uh, adopted young ones, and Twilly and Miranda Hartheart, the uh, halfling mothers who have essentially just adopted the entire party en masse. Um, which is good because they had a uh, history of being adventurers themselves and currently they're rummaging around through their various bits and pieces and their contacts trying to help uh, the, the Cupcake Coterie get geared up, uh, including in the case of Clarity, our tiefling rogue, um, played by Lindira over there, uh, getting her some armor, although they had to camp out at the Tanners in order to try to make sure that it would fit and still maintain uh, whatever enchantment was originally on it. It's also a good thing that they're in town because um, there is a dragonborn bard that they happen to trip over uh, who was made very much aware uh, about 16 or so years ago, about the fate of Froseth's family. Froseth, our dragonborn monk, played by Antheus over there, um, was left in his monastery as an infant, just more or less plunked on the doorstep, as far as he knows anyway, and raised there as one of his own. And he's coming to terms with the fact that instead of being discarded there, he was actually left there for his own safety and to save him from the uh, mass slaughter of uh, his entire people. That's the other thing he's trying to come to terms with, uh, the fact that he is likely the last of his, his specific kind left in the world. So they're meeting up with Torin again to let Froseth ask whatever questions he's going to uh, pick up some notes and bits and pieces that um, they might find helpful and otherwise meet up with uh, Clarity uh, who she is she's she got up early uh, thanks to Twilly giving her a quiet you know, poke 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 yeah, we've got some things for you come on let let Nora sleep, <laughs> and uh, yes, <laughs> once once yes, because Nora was in a state, and uh, you hear her, uh, you, you you hear her sort of uh, snoring into the pillow a little bit, because you remember <laughs> no, she was face down, remember, but oh, um, with her boots on and everything, my goodness. <laughs> yes, uh, as, as it turns out, Tully is going. I am going to trust that they're going to deal with that unfortunate stain on the quills. <laughs> um, so Twilly does explain. Um, Miranda had some armor um, kicking around, which we're going to need to work with the local tanner to fit because it's got some properties, um, which I'll explain to you about on the walk. But right. um as you know, uh, Felicia can't work leather and keep the enchantment stable, and we want to make sure it's properly fitted for you. So since I did the enchantments on this, I'll be coming along to make sure it keeps itself right. in order. And she's put together a little uh, 
breakfast plate for uh, for clarity so she doesn't miss out on the breakfast in the morning it's uh, eggs and bacon and noop actually does sort of turn up looking at her take off a piece and give it to him <laughs> does the purring and just sits in her lap for the rest of the breakfast. Blueberries have been absent from the breakfast table. They get strawberries instead. Uh, <laughs> on on the way there, on the way to town, Twilly tells some stories about uh, her, you know, her time leading the diminutives as a way of explaining um, what the armor that Clarity is going to have is and uh, why it's that way. Um, the uprising that we were dealing with in the Southern Lands was a bit of a strange thing. You had these, we don't know what god they were worshipping, but it was, it, it, it made it made Nerul look sensible. Um, and death is one thing, death is part of life, death happens, but I don't think that worshipping it quite that way is, you know, as, as something to aspire to for the entire known world is, anyway, the, the point is that they had their version of clerics and they were throwing necrotic damage around like you wouldn't believe. And while Miranda is absolutely wonderful at remaining unseen, um, the times that it's more of an area effect kind of a spell. I don't know how much of those you've seen, but they're very useful when you're the one casting them. <laughs> uh, true, true. But not so much when other people are, or when you have a melee fighter in the... And she's actually explaining whole bits of magic because she knows that Clarity's interested. Um, in any case, I designed this to help Miranda not get so much caught in necrotic damage crossfires all the time. It's it all you have Sounds to do with useful. an area of effect spell. Go, there's something shooting at us from somewhere over there, and fling, and there you go. It was absolutely nightmarish. Oh, <laughs> and um, it stops a little ways from town. I know they don't much like uh, anybody having weapons uh, in our little neck of the woods, so I suppose you'd probably better take this away with you. Um, reaches into her, her satchel. She hasn't shown the armor yet. Pulls out a little box, opens it. Inside is this dagger. It's fairly plain, but it's darker than the average dagger. It's shaped a little bit different than the average stabby stabby dagger. You can still stab with it, obviously. We oh. call it we call it ash. It's made for throwing predominantly. Uh, and the reason being, and I'm, I, I admit I'm quite proud of this, uh, this one will return to you mm -hmm. once it's been uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that with your average dagger, but Ash, you can do that, not a problem. Just poof, the reason we call it that is it hits its target, it does its damage, and then poof, looks like it turned to Ash, but it's right back in your hand. Oh, well that's a nifty enchantment. <laughs> it, it, it took took some research, let me tell you. Um, Miranda thought that it might prove useful for you. And uh, I'm given to understand that you need something wearable, uh, pendant or similar. Uh, yes. Well, we were, we, were, we were thinking about something like that anyway. Um, the others seem to have, and I don't know what we're going to do about Froseth, but I get the impression that something large and interesting is going on in that general neck of the woods. Hazel came in yes. last night and according to Miranda she was uh, a bit shell-shocked. Um, yes. I won't I won't ask. Um, I'm sure you all will share it when when Froseth is and it, it says it's all right frankly. Yeah. But I'd been thinking anyway uh, I spoke to Miranda about the conversation that you two had on the way into town yesterday. Oh. And we, 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 were, we weren't exactly going to spread it around, but she thought that it might be something that... Part of the reason I'm, that it's just me coming with you instead of bringing any of the kids along is uh, we thought it might be nice, just us girls. <laughs> and... Sounds... Yeah. 
we do when our little ones grow up and they're off on their own somewhere we tend to present them with a little something to of ours to to keep by or something we've had made for them uh for hazel it was her uh her medallion of paylor um for you we thought maybe not something specially made but and she 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 stops talking at this point she is not the wordy one she <laughs> she reaches into a pocket and she pulls out what looks like a small oval of glass on a silver chain in that oval is what looks to be a pressed violet just it's a little tiny flower and she says where i come from i'm i'm sort of i'm not from this neck of the woods you see and uh those those flowers they're fairly rare here but they're very common where i come from and i think more people ought to see them and you're going to travel more than i am probably more, probably more than any of my little girls <laughs> it's lovely and i like the sentiment thank you so much <laughs> Yeah, she gives gives clarity how great <laughs> Arbor time <laughs> and, uh, she pads off then they they get to the tanner and Tully actually looks a little nervous as they go in and as she explains what it is they're gonna do, the look on Felicia's face probably explains why Felicia hadn't known what Twilly was capable of. Oh. There's only two people in town who really know Jenna and Lyra. So this is sort of a, it's pretty clear that this is necessity. This is to protect one of hers. And she's giving that secret up and hoping that it's not going to end up in town gossip. Yeah, but you know she's she's like all right. Um, as Felicia's you know letting out seams and that sort of thing, you've got um, Twilly. Now Clarity has read a lot about what wizards do uh, about you know somatic components and verbal components. Very, very seldom has she seen it in action. She's seen bits of innate magic and she's seen uh darwin's bard stuff but she's never seen full on let's enchant an item like this and mostly when you see twilly you see this little little bundle of of joy and hugs and and squee not when she's working magics she is dead freaking serious ice cold full control it's this complete 180 from how she normally is it's what she needs to be rather than what she wants to be when everything is finished the armor is the same deep gray as ash the buckles seem to be made of a similar metal they don't reflect light this was made for stealth and once it's done you can you can tell that it was made for movement and part of the reason they needed to enlist felicia's help is because um they needed to make sure that there was more mobility for you know, joints that move more and in some cases differently not to mention tiefling tails are involved if memory serves so there was that to have to deal with as well um there's not you know obviously the tail in and of itself is not completely protected but it's going to have to do you, you you're not going to find that much better um 
there's a bit of a discussion with Felicia who um, is happy to go, well, you know, you've, you've, you've done me very well with um, various uh, cowhides and the like over the years. Uh, I think we can probably call it even. She's still looking a little nervous of Twilly at that point. <laughs> um, but uh, as, as this conversation is going on, Little blue fairy dragon with a note uh, in his jaws. Flat throughout the whole process, I had been taking notes and then suddenly look up. <laughs> yes, see, see, the, the, well, this is, this is towards the end while she's not paying attention so much to the spell casting as just hearing two townsfolk discussing, you know, favors owed and favors paid and all the rest of it. Because um, you know, clearly, uh, clearly they're trying not to involve the, the the cupcake coterie's gold in this if they can avoid it. But as as she's watching this go on, um, they're sort of flit, 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 flit. Boom! Fairy dragon lands on her shoulder. Little note. Oh, thank you. Um, the note is from Nora. It reads that they that the rest of them are in the Golden Bow Tavern. Um, that Nora is going to be at the uh, at the shrine for the foreseeable future because there's stuff that she needs to ask about, but that they're going to be having a fairly significant conversation with Torin. His map and his notes are going to be involved, and her presence is probably required. Um, did you need me for anything else, Twilly? Oh, no, no, I'm no. being summoned elsewhere. Uh, elsewhere. No, no, that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, okay, give give everyone hugs for me. And, I will, uh, and we'll 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 see you at home. Your 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 big boys and girls. I'm sure you can manage. <laughs> I, I I think we'll do okay without parental supervision. Um, <laughs> well, some of you might. The rest of you will have to well, talk to your discretion, dare. <laughs> <laughs> Roseth might be good enough parental uh, supervision for us. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Have fun and enjoy your life. All right, um, scritch, scritch, scritch. Oh, well, don't Want to come back with me? Yes, Flitty is sitting with you and actually uh, fi has figured out enough about human, well, you know, non draconic conversation that, you know, not, 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 not. Uh, <laughs> one thing that uh, Clarity hadn't noticed that morning. Uh, partially because it, it, the, the sun was only still just coming up and partially because Twilly was in the middle of a particularly interesting tale of what her little ones have got up to over the years is the state of the Golden Bow. The broken tables and chairs are still outside as is a barrel of what appears to contain uh, broken and in some cases melted crockery and there's a bit of the bit of the wall on the side opposite the kitchen that's scorched. Inside, oh inside, by the time she gets there, the blood has been sc scrubbed off the walls, but there's still a little bit of, of scorch mark, and there's a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> well, good day to everyone. What happened here? Bards. Uh, yeah, Torin, Torin, Torin is just sitting there, and puts his puts his just snout in his hands, going. Some of my um, associates have no manners whatsoever. Hello to you. Hello. I and can ben, see that. Yeah. Benson's going. Hello, oh, lass. Um, we got we got mutton stew and herb rolls. If your appetite's feeling a bit better. Oh, definitely. I'd, I'd love some. Uh, and a drink? Um, some of your ale, if you would. That it's, would prob be it's, pro it's probably about the only potable uh, at the moment, <laughs> thanks to uh, thank thanks to your your barking up the wrong tree and walks off. <laughs> <laughs> Man from the whole town, by the way. He, he, oh. he can't come back here without getting picked up and then thrown back out over the border. I think that's the definition of that escalated quickly. <laughs> kind of exploded. Is 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 uh, not after literally? You, well, yeah. After you Play left, that. after you left, says Torin. Um, his peers kept 
needling him. Um, the first I heard of it was the yelling and the spells being flung and points at the hole in the ceiling. Then that, about three inches from my tail. Oh. So that's my room. <laughs> well, good thing you weren't hurt then. Yes, well, um, also, I suppose it's just as well it was my room because it gave me the perfect opportunity to just lean through the hole and yell at them all until they shut up. I was busy. Yes. Um... Yeah, see, these, these guys are in the process of just polishing off their, uh, their, their meals. And as Benson puts down your bowl of stew and, and refills the little basket of herb rolls, he takes away a plate that was probably Nora's. Well, uh, Nora got to finish a meal, so that's good news. Um, <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Tor, Tor looks a little confused, but... You know, you know, so Long story. Know, you sort of run with it. Um, before I tuck in, um, I promised Twilly that I would give you hugs, so I go give them hugs each in turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, excessively enthusiastic hug back from from Hazel occurs, like, <laughs> squishing levels of enthusiastic. <laughs> awesome. All right. Go back to my meal. Torin, um, I'm assuming she's wearing the, the pendant? Uh, yes. Yeah, See, so you get Torin sort of looking and going, oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you. I just got it. Hazel's <laughs> probably seen Twilly wear it once or twice. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> huh? More hugs for you! <laughs> you can <just laughs> latch on to Clarity again! Watch the, watch the bowl. Watch the bowl. <laughs> yeah, dex check. Oops. <laughs> or or. Thank you for flagging that up. No, no, just 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 a just a dex check from Hazel. Oh dear. Oh. No, I mean I was asking was from me dex check or from. No, from you. Got it. Oh dear. And that's a four. <laughs> that that uh, that is in fact a four. There there there's an elbow. That lands in your your stew bowl. Ah, jeez! Everywhere. Hazel. <laughs> no! That, it, it. Damn it! Invention is sort of going. Did you want a, a fresh one? All right. Depends on where Hazel's elbow has been. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, but you know. Hey. <laughs> I wasn't certain so flavor. Fine. <laughs> I didn't realize hazel flavoring was no, an option. No, because, because literally it was you know, one one arm wrapped around clarity, the other one bam, and stew sort of <laughs> splushed across the side of the bowls. So about about half of the half of the meat and veggies are kind of oh. out of the bowl. A fresh mm. bowl is probably a better idea. Um, he, he brings a fresh bowl. He takes the messy one away, but what he but he doesn't clean up the spatter. Instead, he throws Hazel a dishcloth. <laughs> your mother, your mother'd skin me if I didn't make you take responsibility for your actions, lass. Yes, yeah, sir. Hazel commences attempting to clean without knocking anything over. <laughs> As long as she's being careful, but she you know, she clearly was not minding the bowl, so. <laughs> it's nice to see some things haven't changed. Wow. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Darwin gets swatted with the... With the ah, I just... This was a clean shirt! <laughs> 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 so, is, is anybody going to ask how Clarity's errand went? Because they do actually know what she went to do. So then, does the armor fit? Um, it seems to. I haven't actually. I, had no, I, I figure she would have. She would have tried it on. Twilly oh, okay. would not. Twilly wouldn't let anything less than perfect 
yeah, go to go go to hers, and yes, it fits beautifully. Well, they, your mother and and the tanner do fantastic work, and it's it fits wonderfully, and it is. I love home. An amazing piece of armor. I'm excited about it. Excited about this too. Mm, sort of touches the necklace. It's a lovely Who piece. should be? Oh, as well as <laughs> as well as Flitty, who is uh, occasionally. Uh, I mean, Benson's actually brought little little saucer bowls for for, <laughs> for the fairy dragons, um, as well as Flitty, the blue one. There's this yellow one that seems to have made its home on top of Darwin's head. Sunshine. Which sort of sort of peep, peeps at him, peep, peeps at Clarity. <laughs> oh, you're the friendly one. Hello, <laughs> is is what Froseth hears, but <laughs> Clarity just gets hisses and clicks. <laughs> Gotta ask. Thing I've been like thinking about for the past several days. Um, how much does land cost? Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> um, I, I would know that. I can't actually think of of how any of you would. Okay. I mean, I know I have a vague idea of what it might be around where I grew up, but even then, no. Uh. <laughs> um, I think Clarity is probably the only one who might. So, um. Mm. Trying to think with, I guess maybe a history check for me. Yeah, okay. you're you're the only one who might know. Okay, character sheet. Your 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 TN is insane, but uh... yeah, no, yeah. she's 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 got the. Imp Clarity's got the impression that a couple of the places she might have ahem, visited uh, might have had <laughs> some, might have had some ledgers um, that might have given some indication, but those were not what she was looking for. Uh, there was one place that she might have just gone in to to get something anything because the the books were mostly kind of dull but there was a cat and it was really friendly <laughs> clarity and her affection yeah. for cute things strikes again <laughs> uh, so unfortunately while while she knows the places that you'd have to go to look and normally you'd ask, you know, the, the, the local Seneschal or um, any any new recent farmers in the area um, if, you know, if if they've actually expanded their lands lately. But she has no idea. Um, would asking your parents be a bad thing? You don't want them to know? Uh. I, 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 there are things that need to be reobtained. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like that cranberry bush area behind the... And more, because interest will be a thing. Yes. Torrance is just, just, just finishing up his lunch and... And then let, let, let he's he's politely letting the conversation happen. I mean, may or may not be slightly amused. <laughs> Honestly, we'll take we will take care of all of that. Anything to say about it? They were getting the whole bloody town away from that money grubbing. Yeah, we are real. Yes, then. she's starting to inflate in an angry fashion. <laughs> Like hairs almost standing on end. I was about to say, it's doing the whole Studio Ghibli. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel will deal with it, one thing at a time. Yeah, Torrin sort of looks over at first and then goes, uh, let me guess, she's always like this? 
Yeah, I would be scared if she wasn't. Well, I I would I would point out that uh, clerics use magic too, and uh, I don't think that the uh, the 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 keeper of this establishment would be particularly impressed to see uh, uh, inflating magic users in his tavern at this point. Yeah. And I don't want to have to yell at her again. I've yes. already had done that already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, chill. Trying to. We'll deal what? with it. I understand. Believe me, I get it. We'll deal with it. Yeah. She's actually starting to deflate at last. It's just. It's no. I no longer in entirely like a porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sense in getting upset about something we can't change in the moment. We'll just maintain focus and we'll deal with it. Yeah. I know it sucks, but... That's the whole point of us being here, is to get better prepped to deal with all, with all of the things... Starting out the with. potentially world-ending stuff yep comes and first we, right and then we this can take is care of the, the unfortunately just as hazel was saying that benson has come up behind to collect the rest of plate it's like that's that yeah you were saying in in, in, in at, at least it wasn't that just that you were as drunk as you were um yeah i was just gonna say that there's um, apple turnovers and custard for dessert if anyone wants it. Hazel is now trying to shrink under the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you had me at apple turnover. That sounds amazing. Yes, uh, I will have some as well. Right. Um, it, it's actually peering under the table. I'll just put you down as a yes. Shall I? Yes! <laughs> Hazel, get out from under there. Um, I, I think you've think you've forgotten at least one word. Please. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> going, getting, and, 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 and he, he tur turns around to the rest of them and goes, "It does take a town to raise a." <laughs> <laughs> <It does>. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of meeping now coming from the hazel. <laughs> <laughs> there is an excessive amount of squeaking. <laughs> Once I, Apple turned over was clerics, action. And was like, I didn't know clerics could turn into mice. <laughs> Dishrag swat. <laughs> Damn it! Not the pants, there, 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 is, there, is, there, is, there is now stew stain on, on his shirt. <laughs> Actually, there's a little bit of carrot stuck in one of the eyes of the laces. Oh, bugger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why it came up. Just... There you go. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it was good. Such is Darwin. It, it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> uh, you've, 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 you've got sunshine sort of uh, uh, hoovering up the, the what bits Hazel's actually missed. You just nomp. <laughs> go for it. Look. Looks looks at first at the Turin. Wait, no, what not? <laughs> so what did what 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 did what did he say? Waste not, want not. <laughs> I knew I liked this one. <laughs> <laughs> you would, Darwin. <laughs> Once Apple turnovers have, have turned up and Benson has sort of gone, you know, I'll, I'll be over there uh, trying to, I, I, I need, need to have a word with uh, with, with the, one, of, one of our carpenters, uh, see if I can't get some more table. Uh, <laughs> can I can I trust you lot in here on your own for about 20 minutes? All right, then. I swear if I find this place burned to the ground when it walks out. <laughs> I'm not going to explode! <laughs> to be fair, you're not a bard. And it was the bards that did the exploding before, so... I'm not yeah. going to explode. <laughs> I had planned on it. 
<laughs> the and, and, and Torrid is just going, well, given the amount that you've actually eaten and the amount you plan to, uh, we could be forgiven for thinking. <laughs> Chuckle. <laughs> 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 he makes a good point. <laughs> I'm feeding some of my turnovers. To stomach half the flitty. time. Yeah, so Flitty is sort of uh, bouncing from, from, from person to person. First of is clearly his favorite, but he'll, 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 he, and, he and Sunshine will respond to the clarity likes the cute things by... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, by 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 coming by and sort of uh, it, hanging around for pettings and it is just turning around to first and going, we like her. <laughs> we like you too because you can talk to us. She pets us lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. <laughs> I'm just watching all this, just bemused, just, <laughs> just. <laughs> Sunshine's getting. Uh, crumbs in Darwin's hair. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> Darn. Try, trying, trying to nose them out. It's just, just, oopsie. What? It's a battle between me and Clarity as to which one's feeding Sunshine more turnover. <laughs> <laughs> Torrid Tor is going, it's, 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 watching this, it's actually kind of a shame we don't spend more time in smaller towns. These, just these little adventures that it, it seem, it seem, seem to... Uh, Seem to take place. Yeah. In any case, um, well, I appreciate you have many other things to occupy your attention. Um, there are a couple of items of business that should <coughs> probably be discussed before uh, I, I field any questions from uh, from Froseth. Reaches into his satchel and pulls out. Um, it's not paper. It appears to be kid skin. It's and it's it's a it's a very fine leather, but still sturdy enough to be waterproof and um, you know portable. Uh, your copy's paper. Um, unfortunately, uh, as good as the tanner may be, uh, kid skin is apparently a little bit lacking in this part of the world, but. This this is the copy that this is the one the copy was made from. Unrolls it. It's probably only Clarity who's ever actually seen a map of the world before, and I actually need to uh, properly design it, which I haven't got around to doing as yet. But I will to mark things off you know, sometime in the next couple of weeks. <coughs> but it's amazing how big it is and I mean Goldendale doesn't even turn up on it it's so small Star Coast barely does it rates a tiny little dot on the coast and you know is it named the name written is it. so small that you can barely read it all you get is um, <clears throat> in Goldendale the town doesn't even turn up as a dot on the map but Goldendale the bar you know, the the barony does turn up. And Hazel can probably just about figure out where they are, maybe. And yeah, you know, Froseth now actually gets an impression of how much there was just in Kragvir alone. Um, the, the amount of space north of him that most people apparently considered uninhabitable, but Knowing his own ability to deal with the cold, it would have been a, it, it probably would have been a fine place. He, he also sees a, a Hammer Hollow, uh, which uh, Froseth knows as a dwarven city. You guys probably haven't heard of it. Um, it's large. It's large enough to be a good sized dot on the map. And you can imagine, given its placement, a lot of it's underground. Make this me an hurts. intelligence check, guys. <sighs> oh boy. Not my strong suit. 14. <clears throat> uh, 
Nine. Why did you have Oops. advantage? I have no idea. I mean, I rolled the 19 first, but let me uh, let me turn that off. Normal. 11. 11. There, re-rolling. It doesn't take much. A little bit more than Hazel and uh, Darwin have got, but Nine. but there's a there's a there, there's a ticking over as they're looking at Hammer Hollow and thinking of the story that Torin told, and knowing that this stuff is underground. What's gonna happen to Hammer Hollow? Oh uh, no. Yes, uh and Hazel doesn't see this. Darwin doesn't see this, but I mean Clarity remember Clarity in particular remembers this oozing stuff. It seemed to sit benign for a while, but if you get it close enough to things what live. It moves. I mean as far as Forseth can tell from, there's actually a little handwritten note on the map. Um, it's a good, it's a, it's a goodly distance. Whoever brought Forseth from the um, you know, from from the the settlement to the uh, to the monastery had one hell of a journey. <clears throat> so. It's entirely possible that whatever they dug up hasn't reached Hammer Hollow. He probably would have heard something because they traded with Hammer Hollow most of the time. But there is still that possibility. These two are these two are too, still too busy looking at a map, going, "Oh my God, there's so <laughs> much stuff, and there's this entire continent to the south." They didn't even really know about, it except for stories from uh, stories from Mom and Mama. And there's Bella Race. That's where uh, that's that's where Hazel's sister Andre lives. And uh, point straight at Bella Race. We 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 should go there. Maybe after. Well, it after does it, does, it it does appear to be a major port. I'm looking around for where I'm stomping grounds. Somewhere on there. <laughs> yeah, well, you're you're predominantly Star Coast, and you're just this tiny little dot. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, there's that. But, and I guess I'd be right around, I guess, in this blank, like, no word spot there <laughs> somewhere. And there, there, there is, there is, a, there is, there is another handwritten mark that um, Hazel, since she's not noticing the uh, the heffalump in the room, as it were, uh, will notice. It's a uh, it's several miles out from Star Coast, not far enough to be daunting. It's about as far from Star Coast as Hearth Home is from Goldendale, the town. So four or five miles or so. That could potentially be where the Hearth Heart clan lives. But yeah, mo most of Froseth and Clarity in particular's attention <coughs> is on Hammer Hollow to the north. Have you heard anything from Hammer Hollow? Is are they safe? Have, was there anything strange going on there? Somewhere. In your travels, have you heard anything? You barely knew it existed. Dar Darwin barely knew it existed. Hazel's heard the name because. Uh, the, the 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 shrine of Paylor that she studied out was just at the foot of the mountains, so they traded with them occasionally. Last they heard, it was fine, and kind of wondering why Clarity's asking the question. Furseth knows. <laughs> yeah. Hang um, on. Why? What's the big deal with the place? Well, it's right beneath where they would have been digging. The, well, it's, it's more that it's underground in the same vicinity. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 a dwarven city. It, they they live literally in the mountains. Uh, 
Wait, why was oh, 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 and this stuff is oh by the god, oh. there, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that so you got you you got you got you got Torrid going. Uh, it, it, Not it enough sun down there. Torrid's going. Uh, yes, I, I I I take it you for uh, you've 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 spotted. Uh, the the primary problem. Um, while I understand that Star Coast has to be a priority because yeah. something has already been unleashed there, there's <coughs> the other issue. Speaking of people who live underground, consider what the Underdark must be like in that area. Uh, that uh, uh, yeah that that get that remember the mind reading googly thing uh, oh yes i remember yeah. very well that, that combined with the gunk the black stuff yeah also do not want uh, also, I don't suppose any of you have heard of Juragar. So what now? Uh, well, Froseth, I know, Froseth, but I'm not sure Froseth. Froseth, 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 yeah. <laughs> Froseth will probably, I mean, he, he was a kid and he probably hung around trading caravans, listening to stories. He'll have a basic idea of what Durgar are. Would Hazel have any clue? It Actually, probably yes, because um, I imagine that to keep relations going well with the dwarves of, of Hammer Hollow for you know, metal, for weapons, and armor, and the rest of it, uh, they'd have gone out if, if the Durgar ever started getting rowdy to come help clear them out. Darvin, nah. -uh. I mean, he knows dwarves exist, but he didn't even know where they lived. Yeah. Clarity's probably read something about them as well. Wait, That's why I was like, Dura yeah. what now? <laughs> other kind of dwarves? The creepy ones? So what Essentially now? dark Trumpy. dwarves. Picture that, except, like, no sun ever and wants to kill you all day. Forever. Of course, a part of, part of me has to wonder how... They started in the first place, says Torin. Ah! I'm thinking it. How come you ain't? Points at all the rest of <laughs> everyone else. I'm still trying to figure out. So you're saying this? So the the, the stuff it moves and so it's spreading and, and it makes things dig. creepy. Er. And dwarves dig, they mine. Right, and so, but if, I mean, wouldn't they have, who's to say they haven't? Exactly! Come this across is, it this, already. This is, this is the question of how did Jurgar begin? Mm-hmm. Given that they're creepy dwarves that want to murder a lot of things, maybe they've already hit the black stuff and, you know... Maybe they hit it quite some while ago and started an entire new race. Uh, we don't know. Hazel's visibly, shud visibly mm -hmm. shuddering. The, these, the, these are the things I've been studying. These are the things I've been looking into. But that's... While we're looking at this continent... We may need that, to look at some others. Well, that's still on this continent. Continent is the one landmass where all the little countries are at. Oh, right. Hence... Um, there are bits that I've labeled. It points at the little mark near the Star Coast. There's a community of halflings. That's destination one. At the very least to ask what in the heck was the reason they booted Mama. They're, and they're, 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 they, they, they've never been... Uh, as a general rule, they are not uh, welcoming of strangers. At least not, at least not non halflings. I think where they've done most of their um, trade and communication with other places 
through the halflings of Star Coast. <sighs> yeah, well, we have to get used to new people showing up because, well, there isn't a Star Coast anymore. With maybe two exceptions. Yes, for the most part, apart from Star Coast itself, I haven't seen any indication of any of this activity within Baron Sphere. Um, in Cragvir, obviously, has the had the Silver Dragonborn settlement. Uh, there is concern about uh, Hammer Hollow and possibly the monastery. We don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what the Shrine of Paylor down on Mount Paylor, just at the base of Cragvir, would be doing at this, if it spread further than that. But that's still beyond Hammer Hollow and the rest of it. So that's, that's someplace else that needs to be looked at. Um, it's not a huge continent we are, but there's this to the east. Basically, it's pointing at a very small comparatively, and it's almost like an island. But if 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 you know the whole sort of Baron Veer, Crag Veer kind of area was uh, North America, um, this would be approximately the size of Australia. So it's smallish, self-contained, and uh, sort of a little bit south. So your best bet to getting there would probably be catching a boat out from Belarus. It looks from from the map, as Torin explains, it's sort of a mountainous region, probably volcanic in origin. Um, from what I've seen there, doesn't seem to be active uh, at the moment, anyway. Um, it, there hasn't been any volcanic activity in at least 50 years. I don't know if that means that it's due or... There is one city for traders. It points at... Uh, point, points at the spot on the map. Um, That's Ore. Um, lovely city, actually, if, uh, if, if, if you like the exotic. Uh, nice place to spend a holiday. But there are tribes dotted around the more, uh, the more habitable sections around the beaches. Some of them are quite friendly. Uh, they're the ones that uh, produce some of the more exotic fruits and such like. Uh, a fair bit of chocolate comes out of there, um, that sort of thing. Uh, Those other cookies? Yes, yeah, so there's other places, but they tend to do the best. There's a couple, though, that they also really do not like strangers. It's been difficult to get anywhere near them, but some of their some of their rights, uh, I'm assuming religious rights of some kind. From what I've seen of the leavings, their sacrifices are ritual in nature and probably human. <laughs> Humanoid, at least. I don't know if it's related. Again, I haven't been able to get close enough. But... Uh... I have to ask, where are the elves? Ah, well, it shifts the map over. Um, I was going to go east, south, and back around, but uh, if if it points to and beyond beyond Baronsvier, there's a mountain range basically splitting off uh, you know, Baronsvier from the rest of the continent off to the left. It's kind of like the Rockies except a little more centralized. <clears throat> According to this map, entirely far, entirely forest. Maybe a little bit of beach along the coastlines, but entirely forest. Uh, 
I, again, I've 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 never liked making this map because the, the the names of these areas, particularly on this continent, have been um, more than a little dull. Uh, they call this the Elven Wild. I've mapped out. I've mapped out a couple of cities. You, he looks at Hazel, likely come from there. It points to a city that's just on the mountain edge. It actually looks like a fair old sized city. I don't know if you wanted to come to to go looking for them. I do and 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 I don't. I've got I've got reasons. Well, they call it Skyview. Most of the city is actually built uh, atop one of the largest uh, collection of trees. I have ever seen. Um, it's an interesting uh, design for a city, but yes, there there are places in the Elven Wild uh, points to a couple of spots on the map that are handmarked, so they're clearly not actual cities to any great degree. Um, there's again as 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 Durigar are to dwarves, drow are to elves. They're 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 just as unpleasant. They worship just as horrific things. Crazy. And again, you have to wonder where they came from. Would Hazel remember anything about what the drow worship? Uh, <laughs> like religious classes. Oh my god, okay. Make me a religion check. Here we go. Where are you? Where, there you are. That is a uh, five total. No. When, when Hazel thinks about her childhood as a you know, in, in in elven territory because she remembers some of it. She just mostly what she remembers is looking out a window and seeing nothing but treetop. <sighs> Can't remember nothing but trees. Well, that might well be something to uh, might be something to research later. Yeah, here's hoping they'll let anyone near the material. Other uh, dark versions of other races. Uh, I've never heard of any from ours, but. There's enough lizard folk and the like to, to go around. Uh, it doesn't work quite the same way for most others. Um, the dwarves, the elves, be, beyond that, you, you get tainted people, but they've never formed societies in that way that I've ever heard, for, heard of. I, mean, I've, I haven't been you know, I've been traveling less than two decades, so uh, I haven't encountered everything that there is in the world. In any case, uh, moves on from the elven world. The Southern Lands. This one you might want to ask more of an expert about, but uh, there's instances of what can only be called a death cult. Now, the part of the reason that I make part of the main thing I wonder about um, you know, when, when I think where did the Jurgar and the Drow begin is that these one of the more recent uprisings for this 
lot was 40 years ago. Oh. You hear the ballads from time to time. I've actually performed it. Uh, Clarity's actually heard this story just today. Oh. The, uh... the rule I understand, people being creepy about it, why? Like, who, who would have that? Why would anyone want that much of a mad on to not exist anymore? <sighs> so, a lot of necrotic magic then... Um, your mother told me something a little bit about this today. Yeah. Um, Southern Lands 40 years ago. Who was fighting there? Oh, boy. This has come up a few times, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we could definitely talk to them about it. It's mom and mama for you doing things no one never expects you to do and being awesome. Well, that's that that that's the thing though. The from from what I've understood from, I've actually been to the southern lands and spoken to uh, the locals who were fighting in the uprisings. They didn't go into significant detail with their mercenary forces as to what they were facing, that was a significant bone of contention, as a matter of fact, um, because the casualties among the mercenaries were so high. They weren't, ex they, they were told there was an uprising. They weren't told <sighs> necrotic <laughs> magics, uh, acid spitters. The the yeah. mercenaries that survived were compensated fairly handsomely, but not handsomely enough yeah. for what they went through. They were told there was an uprising. They weren't told what was rising. I don't. I, as far as I can tell, <clears throat> the 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 residents of the Southern Lands as a whole weren't entirely sure themselves. Oh. There are maybe three clans who had some in-depth indication of what was going on. Um, they are down off the coastal lands. Um, they call themselves the Feles, but uh, they don't like talking to strangers and I couldn't get very near them. They tend to prefer their humanoids a little more humanoid after what they've been dealing with, I cannot say I blame them. I imagine that a dragonborn and a tiefling accompanied by more humanoids might get along better than one admittedly ravishingly dressed uh, dragonborn going in on his own. There are some places that looking like you have money to throw around doesn't get you everywhere. That was one of them. But they may have they may have new bardic stories in circulation there. Oh. Noted. That I haven't been made privy to. So the Southern Lands might be another stop. I think about the only place that I haven't done any in-depth study of. And shift the map back to the east where... Mostly what you get is chunks and it, it's, it's basically like somebody took a continent and hit it with a hammer. So now it's lots of lots of continent chunks with more channels than oceans or seas between them. What happened there? Oh, that depends on what legend you, uh, you, you are listening to today. Um... <clears throat> Um, many of the the more uh, intellectual magic users um, have the impression that some 
geological something did that to the continent, um, bards will tend to Thank say... Hmm? I'm sorry, did you want to sell this? No, no, I'm, I'm asking. Yes, but... <laughs> but you're interrupting. Um, also, also, I can't hear you. I can't hear the question you're asking if you're asking it on top of what I'm saying. <laughs> some people say that... Some people say that something bad was going to rise from the center of this continent. And they did something wrong, and it shattered the landmass. Some people say that someone was trying to do something bad in the center of this landmass, and the gods rose up en masse, smashed them with the uh, theological equivalent of a hammer, and uh, broke the continent into pieces so that the whatever it was needed to be together for this spell to work would never be again. All I know for sure is that the broken lands are fascinating and I haven't really seen them all. Each, what I've been able to tell is that each small landmass is incredibly different culturally from any of the others. It's like there, even though you could sail across to each in half a day at most, that they've been separated from any of the rest of them. You'd think something you could technically, if you had enough stone and enough magic build bridges between, wouldn't do that. But while they'll hop and skip between them to get to trade routes outside, they don't interact with each other very much. Huh. Yeah. I've, I've always been needing to research why, but there's been enough going on 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 the continents I can reach a bit more easily than anything else. As I say, um, my lady paladin has taken the copy of the map that I have for you all. Uh, she's taken it to the shrine. Um, this is mostly for clarity to, uh, to mark off where the, 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 the chasm, the spot she says that um, this this sword, Pelor's Beacon, is meant to be. Uh, along with some other meditations and cleansing bits and pieces. Um, also, there's this. And he, he reaches back into his satchel and he pulls out. It's not a book. It's a small pile of papers. And he hands them over to Clarity. These are the notes and the tales of what I've been able to glean. It's not as much as I'd like. It's more than you had. Anything is wonderful. Thank you. I can give you a bit more detail in the next couple of weeks because it'll take uh, Clarity time to read through them. But a lot of what she's seeing is that the, the first couple of pages are largely what somebody who's facing off against the more physical minions of whatever this is are likely to face. So there are stories of a lot of uh, necrotic magics, a lot of acid, a lot of cold. There, there There's in fact a, a whole story of one that just touched someone and... It, they didn't. It didn't quite freeze them like frozen ice breath, but it was like frozen from the inside. Mm. Not 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 brittle ice at that stage, but enough to be debilitating. Mm. 
Okay. So there, there's a lot of what is talked about in those first couple of pages is that they seem to favor and it's not just brutal, hacky, slashy, although there's a fair bit of that. There's a lot of what they go for is any kind of magical corruptions you can name, um, you know, necrotic, creeping, colds, um, you know, acid, long-term damage, poison, disease. They don't just kill, they taint. in just about any way you could imagine. That's what clarity is getting. Okay. Okay. Uh, Torin, while, while uh, clarity is, uh, is leafing through these and probably getting as pale as, uh, as a tiefling can actually get, Torin is signaled for another round because he seems to get the impression that people could use it. Um, Hazel still has her short shorty mug. <laughs> You're right, Clarity. This Clarity is suddenly very glad for her armor. <laughs> we are up against some terrible things. I mean, I knew, I know that it was obvious before, but we need to prepare ourselves against necrotic magics, acid, cold, poison, diseases. Um, mm, well, well, we'll be glad to have you around, definitely, Hazel. Hazel starting <laughs> to mutter prayers, something along, something, it sounds like her usual, I walk in the sun and the sun burns all evil, but it stopped, but instead of saying burns all evil, it's something like heals the worthy. <laughs> <laughs> She's just and she's just repeating that over and over and over. Benton, Benton, I, when 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 things have settled down and people are kind of sort of leans over and goes, um, now I've got the ale, if you like, but um, I do have a little something else. We've we have come on to to apple season fairly recently, and I have something something of a mold. Hard cider? Yes, that sounds comforting. Yes, Very yes, please. Yes. He, he brings that along and there, there is this smell of cinnamon and cloves and and it's warm and it's comforting. Particularly, uh, particularly for Clarity, who's reading about this 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 person who's you know who, whose blood has literally gone cold in their veins, and you just I am having something warm now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be best, says Tor, and if I leave you to go over those, there's not much more I can tell you about this that's not in those or on that map. These are places that you'd have to look. Um, I am bound to run into at least young Darwin again. So if if it's of any help to you while you're investigating the leads you've got, I can go to the Broken Lands and see if there's anything there that might be worth your time investigating. If there isn't, then it's one less place you have to worry about. All right. You sure you don't want to go up against the death cults <laughs> instead? Uh, um, well, I've, 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 I've. To be honest with you, Miss Clarity, I've done my, I've done my share of, uh, at the very least, dodging the death cults. Um, as I was telling, as I was telling young Darwin. This is your story now. I can give you the means to arm yourselves, and I think you've done a very good job so far. What I have to offer you 
is the thing that most of the people that you have access to at the moment can't. More in-depth information. Thank you. You're still muted, Ethan. Sorry. Yep, and it's appreciated. As I say, if this... And clearly the Broken Lands have something. Maybe it's not even to do with what it is that you're discussing, but I get the impression, as, as my notes will suggest, that these are ground troops. This that's worrying you so are, on, are only the beginning. If I can leave more, I suppose, breadcrumbs to follow, then that's what I'll do. Thank you. Yeah, what, what, what Clarity said, thank you. Thank you a lot. That's quite all right. Um, honestly, though, while obviously I'm glad this is helpful to you all um, the main reason that I stayed by and as I already said was to speak to Furseth all things considered I imagine that he might have questions or at least want some indication of and have you ever met any Dragonborn before ever you're the first. Well, we're rare, but there's more of us than you would think. Um, I mean, we most of us, though, we just don't really like cold places as much as your people do. Did there's uh, there's actually a group um, off the cliffs near Belarace. Bronze is like me, it's how I know. I'm not from there, I'm actually from, uh, from, from further out to the east, but... Uh, they might be... But I, I sort of figured if you were ever going to trip over uh, an actual settlement of clan, you might want some information. I do, but, like, this whole day has been... A little mind-blowing? Yeah. The, that, 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 that's about, that about sums it up. Um, I, I, I don't even know where to start with questions. Well, I'll tell you what. And it, it leans forward in a sort of a friendly way. Um... Why don't you settle with your companions here? Um, you're clearly a family of a kind, and I think that uh, their support will probably be a little bit easier to get your head around what's just been and help you prepare for what's whatever you might want to ask. I'll be upstairs. If you want to talk, I'll be here for another two days. Well... But, but, well, before you leave, there there is one question I can think of, and he puts the the amulet with like his name on it on the table. Where where did you find this? Like, um, that was found in a snowbank um, about ten miles out from your settlement. As far as I was able to tell from clues and investigations and the like, the one that brought you out, the, foot, the footsteps weren't right for a dragonborn. The footsteps were dwarven. The, 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 the silver clans, if they had a good relationship with any non-dragonborn, it was with the dwarves. The, the dwarves mind metal 
and gems and the silvers in particular they were always a studious lot they were the ones who knew what to do with it and it was closer than dealing with besides which part of it was a territorial situation you'd get uh, mine shafts opening up in territory that was being hunted or gathered or the rest of it so they needed to have some kind of a relationship i think some some of it was uh, not something i'm proud of but uh, the sometimes dwarves if they've done something not heinously criminal but that the dwarven society doesn't like um they they'd outcast they cast them out the the, the 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 dragonborn um would often take them in give them jobs that sort of thing so uh, p most popular was uh seneschals uh stewards nursemaids childminders there's a bit more of a delicate touch with a hatchling if the arms have skin and not scales whoever took you out was more than likely a caretaker in the employ of your family either ordered to take you out or did it on their own recognizance because they knew that's what your parents would have wanted about 10 miles out there was the remnants of a haversack some blood only on the uh, only on the haversack it was it appears that the, the tracks continued so they got away they took wounds in the process i don't know if whoever it was that brought you out survived that there was no way of telling that but those were the things they took away that was the only thing salvageable Yeah. He reaches out and uh, yeah. very, very hesitantly, like he's not sure it's going to be welcome, just take a very brief touch of Frith's hand and then leans away. I can't say I know what you're going through. But what I can answer, I'll answer. That's all I can really say. <sighs> Do you need some time? Uh, yeah, Mo most of what I can think to ask I don't believe you can even answer. It's more the 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 whole who's my family, blah blah blah. Just can't get those questions out of my head right now. Ah, I had a feeling that might be the question. I can't give you specifics. What I can give you is this. He holds up a hand, well, holds up both hands and sings something. Um, it's draconic, but it's a dialect of draconic that Froseth can only get glimpses. You, you can only get a gist of it seems to be a summation of a, a, a city in ice and snow. And between his hands, forms this image it's a uh, when when he said dragonborn settlement probably the um, the the temptation was to think of 
small small buildings, small tents, uh, little you know, holes carved into the rock, etc. No, this is a city made of ice. You got there were actually pillars four or five stories high. In some places, they were mo they seem to be mostly ornamental, but um, they were there. That it, it's it's a very small city. It's probably a little smaller than Star Coast in terms of area, but of course, there's not a lot of flat space to build on out there. So they built up, uh, shoring up ice with whitish, silverish stone. And there's people, Silver Dragonborn, going about their day. Um, a sort of a market bazaar that is almost this... If anybody's ever seen one of those ice bars that you, you go to... the high, high, Really out market people go and have like vodka and things in them. It's kind of set up like that. Holy crap! With little, yeah, with with little, mo most of the cloth on the banners and uh, you know, shelters against the sun, because obviously with all this ice around, you're going to get a lot of sun. Most of it's still off white. If you weren't looking closely, you probably would miss this city in the glare. But there it is. It's just. You know, mo most people wear sort of pale and soberish colors, light blues, grays, whites. They're not in it to show off, but um, a lot of the sense, and all of you have seen this at one point or another, in communal areas, the conversations that are going on that aren't trade are clearly intellectual of some description. You'll get people pointing at books and pointing at notes and scribbling things down as they're talking. It's clearly a studious sort of tiny city. Very tiny. There's maybe two, three hundred people, max. But there's a little well-hidden, fairly you know, fairly sturdy, though, path out of this little canyon, which is clearly where any you know, trade or exits kind of happen. And when he's maintained it as long as he can, which is about five minutes, and he's clearly pushing it to get it that far, he lets it fade. The artist Barreris has set a price of five gold on an, a, a permanent representation of that. If only because he has to work at a speed more than he normally would. Just so you're aware, he he says yeah. it has he says he has it locked in the vault. If you want it, speak to him. Thank you. Hell, I'll cover it. Possibly, it could be a, a family enterprise. Yeah. So you don't end up arguing over it. <laughs> Otherwise, there would be shouting, there would be swatting, and... No, there wouldn't. <laughs> well, much. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be something. There would definitely be a something. At which point, Torin stands up and says, Now I uh, know that you need a moment. If you want a private word at any point, you know where I am. Yeah. I, I could, I could <laughs> yes, use a couple of days break from uh, the traveling in any case. I'll only be upstairs. Thank we'll you for everything. <laughs> Anytime. Sorry. And this is a good 
point at which to take our break. Thank you. Okay. Uh, five minutes. Uh, Okay, so after a fairly surprising, well, informative and then surprisingly uh, feelsy conversation with uh, Jordan, uh, he, he he heads back up to his room to do whatever it is he's going to be doing, um, possibly just resting because you know having having pulled out all of that various bits of information, and more than likely the spell itself probably took it out of him. I mean. Darwin mm -hmm. is nowhere near that kind of level, so he's sort of going. Honestly, what was he? What was he singing? Holy shit! <laughs> in the back of my head, I'm sitting here thinking, I gotta learn how to do that. I don't want. I didn't want to say that out loud because I didn't want to break the moment. But um, the whole time I was, I gotta learn how to do that. I gotta learn how to do that. I gotta learn how to do that. That is such a cool thing to do. So, <laughs> yeah, in, 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 insight check from uh, Hazel and Clarity because let's face it, first a Forsyth's attention was entirely on uh, that moment. Yeah. 19. One moment, and... Wow, 21 total. <laughs> yes, uh, Clarity, it makes sense, because she was probably thinking fairly close to the same thing. <laughs> she, was, she was probably thinking, now that's, that's sort of minor illusion, but at a level I cannot do yet ever oh my god i really need to study more and <laughs> hazel was just sort of going why are you thinking that now <laughs> <laughs> um <sighs> okay but yeah, there there you are with your uh, Ben Benton, in the moment of quiet, has unasked and not not even mentioning anything about recompense, just topped up your uh, mold ciders. Hazel's Hazel's second is actually soft cider. He knows his audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hazel. Hazel probably would Hazel have noticed after taking a swig. Yes. <laughs> just keep swigging. Doesn't even does no, zero reaction. Just continues swigging. Well, it's still tasty. It's just not alcoholic. It's tasty and it's warming. It's just not alcoholic. Oh well, yeah, she's just. Would she have noticed the alcohol? Yes. yes. Yeah, she's just refusing to 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 make any sort of a fuss about that because it, there's. She she's acknowledging the fact that this is not a situation where fuss 
should happen at all, ever. Asa learns. <laughs> um, I have a question. I don't expect an answer, and I'm trying to figure out how to word this in a way that's not going to be insulting. After all, after hearing all of this, why you? Why were you the one that got out? I mean, that, exactly. I figured, and I'm not trying to. I wasn't trying to make that sound any sort of bad way. It just, I just, it's just the first question that popped into my head after hearing all of this. I'm sure it probably occurred to you too. It's yet another question. Right. I mean, I don't mind it was you. I'm just saying. You know, it was just why, you know, I mean, just random, you know, this person just was the only one able to get out or, I mean, it may have just been that, in which case, thank the fortune or gods or whatever for it. More than likely, I imagine Hazel would probably be the one to be mostly thinking this, that you know, more than likely parents were tr pa parents were trying to get their kids out while you know, the adults were probably trying to defend their homeland it's just that sometimes as hazel knows from for example oscar keth sometimes you just can't get out uh, i mean i've i've got a i guess it Probably just your family wanted to protect anyone they could, and in this case, it was you, and they made sure you got out any which way that was possible. Families I mean, do that. I mean, that's what we did with Evan and Lisey, so... Or Lizzie. Lizzie? Lissy. Lissy, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you've, you've been mispronouncing it for a while, but Lissy wasn't going to make any kind of fuss about it when you did. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you want her to be Lisey, then okay, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> She's taken worse names. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, part of me wonders, you know, wonder, was wondering, you know, is there anything, I mean, aside from you being who you are, if there was anything more special to you than that. As far as Furseth knows, no, it was just luck. Yeah, like, it, it's... I, I don't think so, and it's not something we're going to find an answer to, at least not without going there. Mm -hmm. No, I, yeah, no, I, I agree, I would agree. Thank you for letting me get voiced that. Thank you. And as much as I'd like otherwise, we have more pressing concerns. But we will go there. Assuming you can get there, remember what Torin said initially, that and he could get to the site. He said he'd been at the site, so that's something. But he did also mention that go too much further beyond that, and there's problems. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So something to be approached with caution. Yeah. Let's put it this way. We'll at least give it our best shot. <laughs> we owe not you to that mention, you, Not to mention you guys do have Hammer Hollow to, to check in mm -hmm. on. And it's in the, it's in the approximate in that vicinity. direction. Yeah. Given we're going to be in the area anyway, if, you know, under it. At, <laughs> directions make no yeah. sense. <laughs> un, un, Hammer Hollow is it starts anyway the entrance to it is under and to the south of the monastery and the according to the map the Dragonborn settlement is uh, to the north of the monastery so from north to south it's settlement, monastery entrance to Hammer Hollow you don't know if there are any other entrances there's just that main entrance but given that there was clearly trade, there was probably 
an entrance to Hammer Hollow closer to. So it might actually be worth, you know, if you go to Hammer Hollow to investigate, you might be able to travel in less inclement conditions and get closer. Right. So now what? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that is sort of the question of the day, isn't it? <sighs> do we... Do, do we, we have anything else to, to do today? Well, I do have to get this blessed. Oh, right. Um, well, right. But... Um, but if there's anything else... Well, there were, I didn't know how busy... I mean, Nora was doing her her thing there. Is there there anyone? I mean, I didn't want to interrupt. Um, it that gets... actually makes me wonder, do we go get Paylor's beacon before going? Mm -hmm. How could, how could, well, uh, in, in, in your case, though, you can't do it now, because the only person who can carry it is Nora. Mm -hmm. You do, you do, you do get Flitty looking at, at Furseth and going... Did you want me to check and see if I can talk to mommy lady? I could take the thing. Yeah, if, if you wouldn't mind. No, not at all. You gave me lunch, and you are my friend, <laughs> but... And flit, flit, flits over and sits expectantly in front of Clarity. Uh, Clarity, uh, Flitty is offering to take it to Lyra for you. Oh, and um, get it blessed there. All right, that sounds certainly yes. And, and for Seth, they'll take his own and finally actually put it on. <laughs> um, Flitty puts down the chain just long enough to uh, to say. Um, also, if you could ask her, because the, the apple turnovers were nice, but if 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 Mister Innkeeper Man has has a cookie. For when I come back, that would be very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Sunshine <laughs> down on 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 Darwin's head. Cookies, cookies, cookies. You're not going, says Flitty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 and it says it calms down a bit, and then Flitty just takes the chain, um, butts Clarity uh, in a friendly sort of manner, and then flies off. Well, something went on there, and I had no idea what any of it was, but okay. It looked adorable, whatever it was. It was a lot of squeaking. Yeah, a lot of squeaking and clicking and hissing. Yes. And... Flitty would like a cookie when she gets back. Well, yeah, I thought that was that was generally yeah. par for the course when they when they did errands and such. Maximum cookies. Or at least one. Cookies for everyone. <laughs> sunshine cookies? Tip? Cookies? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. There you go. Well, <laughs> um, Cl Clar Clarity can't even Clarity can't really understand, but first it just just sees the perking up is cookies, <laughs> <laughs> and I notice. <laughs> well, you, 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 you notice that the uh, mention of cookies has perked Sunshine up rather a lot, but uh... so yes, you will get a cookie as well. It looks it looks at Furseth for confirmation. He, yes, he's going to get you a cookie as well. Bounce, This does probably mean you're going to have to ask Benson because as yeah. I, it, Nora actually has the cookies. That is that, true. That are going back to the hard hearts. So uh, we should probably so. see if he has any. Yeah. Um, uh, ben Benson, who's been uh, who's been is sort of evaluating the hole in the ceiling and trying not to listen in, looks over. Um, can get you anything else? <laughs> Two cookies. <laughs> one, one. Yeah, one for one for each dragon. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have expected that 
newcomers to town would just expect a barman to have two cookies to hand. Uh, of course, we do, but that's because we're used to this lot by now. I'll, 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 I'll bring you a couple. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Well, I, to cookies. I, look, there was nothing to do but ask. <laughs> yeah, he, I wasn't he, expecting he come, anything. He, 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 he comes out with he, he does not bother with a plate at this point. He's probably kind of running out of plates given how many of them were destroyed. Uh, but he he, bring, he, bring, he brings out with a, a fairly clean looking piece of bark with the, the mm. two uh, two ginger snaps on them. And you know, <laughs> Sunshine is trying desperately to be polite. You see him leave uh, head in. cookies. <laughs> one for you, the other one is for Flitty. Munch. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> as as this is as this is going on, um, Jenna walks in too far. Okay. Well, this is a bit of a how do you do? Hey, the champion eater. How are ya? <laughs> yeah, of course you're going to remember that and not the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> that as well. I was I was I was suitably impressed by both. <laughs> Noted. Uh, <laughs> Olive Benson, and uh, she, 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 she's got a, a fairly sizable satchel with her. Uh, so, uh, this ought to be settling my uh, my bar tab for the month, and plunks down five bottles of what appears to be the cinnamon vodka from the night before. <clears throat> this is how I pay my tab, you see. <laughs> now it works. I know that your friend, uh, Nora, she's off down the shrine doing mm -hmm. worshipy things. But I think I finally finished your armor. You want to have a look? I'm curious. Same. Darwin will also remember that doesn't he have uh, pictures to pick up? Mm -hmm. You guys are going to have to find the artist either on your way there or on your way back because um, you have other business with him as well now. Mm -hmm. So possibly on your way back, but leaving the tavern will uh, will, will will probably remind you that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Also set also settling your tab. Um, mm -hmm. The the stew plus the turnovers plus the various bits of um, booze and the rest of it will and total cookies. and and the cookies the, the the cookies are more or less on the house at this point but um, for all four of you the total is one gold done and that 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 covers all of you. <laughs> Does that include what Nora had as well? Uh, yes, yes, it does. Okay. She, she, she kind of missed out on the turnover and the cider and the rest of it. Actually, speaking of, is there any way we could get a turnover to take with us to give to her later? She probably really uh, like one. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Bed bed's interest sort of wraps one up and goes, I'll throw that in as well. Thank you so much. I just, I don't want to miss out, because it was wonderful. Uh, and this is actually really well timed, because Flitty is on her way, is on his way back uh, as he comes and lands on top of uh, Clarity's head, leans oh. over the, 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 the pendant dangling. Trade you. Munch, munch, munch. munch. <laughs> Trade you nice. <laughs> with, with, uh, nice. With, um, and, and manages to swallow the cookie before saying, thank you, I'm sorry I didn't thank you before, but I'm not supposed to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> Whatever that first, was, I'm sure it was adorable. First is, the, first is the only one who understands this, but... Put the necklace back on. Flitty uh, butts. Clarity in the top of the head, then goes back and lands on um, on Professor's shoulder again. <laughs> I have great pocket ventures. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, uh, Jenna leads the way back to uh, her her blacksmith shop. Um, 
asks Clara to you and they go in. So, uh, I had a visit from uh, this one's mum, I suppose, all of, all of your mums. <laughs> uh, said something about, I don't believe they named that bloody thing. The dagger? Oh, the yes. F- oh? And I will not show it here, but... Well, no, yeah. in, 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 in here is fine. It's not, oh, okay. it's not like I've got guards hiding in the woodwork. Oh, right. <laughs> and I show them the my, my new dagger. Neat! That's really nice work. I yeah, it's, it's, like... it's, it's, it's kind of plain. It's one of my first... Uh, one of my first bits, but it's more what it does. And actually, if if you don't mind, I'd I'd love to demonstrate. Picks it oh. up with the uh, with the with with the with the metal hand. Uh, I is a section of wall. Flings it, thunk, sticks in the wall, and a second later, poof! It looks like it's gone to ash, and she's holding it in her hand again. Oh, do- do- puts it back in the box. That is neat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> right, it leads into the back where there's this humanoid-shaped thing standing in a corner, draped with cloth, which she walks up to. I'm proud of this. Grabs the shape, pulls it off. Now, it doesn't look that much different. And it's it's a bit spiffier, a bit shinier. The uh, the 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 symbol of Paylor uh, is now on the front, though, because at the time it was just a fairly generic bit of armor. But she's uh, managed to inlay the um, the the symbol, the sun symbol of Paylor in bronze across the breastplate. So obviously this isn't your this isn't your boob plate nonsense. This is this is armor that was meant to actually keep someone alive. Um, that's been done in a palish sort of bronze which give me a perception check guys. Sure. Two seconds. There we go. Let me... That is a six. Ten. Perception. There is. I keep forgetting where that ends up all the damn time. There we go. Thirteen total. Oh. Uh. There. Uh. I don't know what I got. What I got. Sixteen, 16. total. Darwin is the only one who notices that, okay, so there's this, there's a, there's the bronze of the Paylor's, uh, the symbol of Paylor on the breastplate. Mm -hmm. There's similar bronze in the, um, in, in the joints. It's scale joints, not ring joints. It's funny that, that bronze color, that bronze scaling is a, Dead on match for the color of Torin scales. Huh. It looks. It looks. It look. She looks at Darwin. No, it's not. Is it's actual bronze dragon. What? Wow. Well, okay then. This gives her a bit of protection from lightning damage. Is anything going to be able to even dent Nora in this? <laughs> I couldn't do everything, but denting actually going to be pretty hard. There's and she 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 pulls the she pulls the breastplate to show that um, the, there's an amber-ish sort of a. It looks kind of like hide, really tough hide, reinforcing the inside. Ooh. That's Umba Hulk. Oh boy. I've heard of that. that. That's gonna. You saw the dents. I saw. I saw the dents. Everybody saw the dents in her armor. Mm-hmm. That, and ain't gonna happen. that ain't gonna happen again easily. It's, it's just not... gonna swing at her and, and, and boing. 
<laughs> oh, it's not it's not as good about sharp things as it is about but it's not gonna dent easy and lightning damage is it still hurt but not so much. Basically what you've got is it was originally plus one armor and it still is, but she's got resistance to bludgeoning damage. And she's got resistance to lightning damage. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Like, like, seriously, wow. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just leaning in, looking at the detail work. I'm like, to, beyond even what it does, I'm also impressed in just in the just craftsmanship it's... in general. She she's turned it from a, a generic sort of whitish general paladin armor to proper paladin of Palor armor. Um, yeah, you know, the, the the sun symbol is emblazoned on the breast, so that the uh, the the top of her medallion would probably come just to the uh, top of the top sun ray. The trim is a similar sort of bronze. It clearly the the smaller bits of trim weren't dragon scale the way some of the you know the joint scaling and the bits making. As you look closer, you can see there is actually a sort of a mosaic, very very faint line showing where you know, she's she's turned the scales into that sun pattern. But yeah, it's it's enameled a whitish. The enamel is gonna take some taking care of, but if she's gonna be the pallid in a pale or she better which, look the part. And well, she if, definitely if, will. If there's gonna be them 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 songs like the one you had at the tavern last night, and if she's gonna be at the head of one of them. Mm-hmm. If I have anything to say keep, about it. If we we ought to give you something we ought to give you something to sing about. <laughs> this is going to be nuts. This is going to be nice, is what it's going to be. No, no, her reaction. Oh, that yes. No, no, she's gonna want to do things to the armor. <laughs> oh God, it was. Uh, uh, I was trying to. Uh, it was supposed. Never mind. Never mind. Just never it's the mind. same reaction she had to the sword. I, I can't argue that point. It was. It was. Never mind. Can I help it if I appreciate craftswoman? You know I'm right. I keep saying. <laughs> can I help it if I appreciate craftswomanship? You can just say craftsmanship. Craft. Craftsman is a gender neutral term. Fair enough. But yes, the work is amazing as always. Hell better than I mean Well, damn. I've had I've had I've had years to I mean, I started with stuff like Ash. I believe they named the bloody thing. Um, <laughs> then came I, I got I got a little uh, got a little creative in weapon types when it came come came to that one's comma. Your your rapier there. Uh, that one was actually meant as some kind of presentation gift for Yon King. They went with something else. Hmm. I don't see why. They clearly don't have good enough taste. Thank you. <laughs> exactly where I was heading. Well, I don't. I don't even know what they decided on. They just turned around to me and said, "Nope, nope, <laughs> uh, going with something else. We're not doing it." Okay. Other than that, they just decided they weren't gifting him at all. But okay, well. Yeah. But they're not going to tell me that, are they? So Fair I enough. had this thing with nothing to do with it, and now there's that gestures to the armor. Now if I can just figure out how to... Now if I can figure out how to... Uh, <laughs> hmm. How can I work? Finish your sentences, Bard. 
Now I'm just trying to figure out how to work the cra had the uh, the craftsperson's name into the song. A little free advertising never hurt. Uh, given that this is a town where they don't really like the fact that I'm oh, making right, I forgot. Probably not so much. Sorry. Right. If Sorry. you it's not until we sort out the money grubbing asshole problem. Gotcha. Po point being, it's actually probably better if you mention it not so much in the songs, but quite like to people who might actually want the thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. And actually drapes the 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 the. the she redrapes the armor. I just figured you might want to have a look when, uh, when, so that you know. I have this thing, yeah, where it's always a bit more fun and does the anticipation thing if the people are bringing the person who's about to get the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Darvin, Darvin, are you okay? You're vibrating. <laughs> All right, just, you're, just... You're, you're jitterier than I get. That that that, 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 or I'm just having my revenge for stealth tipping by making you see how much, how much you can bust something trying to keep a straight face. It's just smirking at you. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Darwin's going to be able to keep a straight face. He, he he's gonna turn colors and and and, and then feathers are gonna come out of his ears or something. <laughs> no no no, that, that, that was nose and that was everyone else. That wasn't me. Yeah, well, this is you trying to hold stuff in. So, doesn't he have yeah. to be singing for that? Right. See, uh, she gets it. Yeah. I've seen both before. Thank you. Also, while I got you here, um, I'm going to be trying to fix that hole in their ceiling. Uh huh. So if any of you wouldn't mind, she gestures to some uh, to, to some wood planks uh, leaning up against a bit of, of wall. Uh, if you could help me drag that lot in and then whatever oh. other errands you got. Yeah, sure. Okay. Can do. She, she, she hoists a good half of them. With the with the with the metal arm, uh, without having to to do anything. Right, I'll take the lead. The stomps out. Hazel right. goes to pick up at least as many as she can. Strength check from Hazel. Uh, Froseth is probably okay, just because by dint of sheer size. But Hazel manages. She Hazel tries three, <laughs> and falls over. Six does not, in fact, allow me to pick up stuff. <laughs> not, not, not as many as you want to. That's the thing. You pick up three, and it's one too many. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll grab so one. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up some, but Hazel's actually stronger than Frosa. <laughs> <laughs> right, strength check from all of you. <laughs> Screw it. Why not? Uh, strength is uh, not my not strong suit. Clarity suit. Did Hazel good? Oh, that's Ooh. way better oh than I thought. <laughs> 13 for me. <laughs> Balancing act. Go, go, go. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> wow. Arm's <laughs> has been working out. I think it's just the anticip... Like, I am jazzed on the anticipation of Nora seeing that armor. Like, also, this is just sheer also, excitement also, fueling this. Also, also, Darwin is like, I can redeem the bardic name by helping fix what my brethren broke! It's, <laughs> yes, that too. I'm gonna run with that. <laughs> you complete so, maniac. He picks up about uh, half of what, of what, uh, of, of what's left. What, what Jenna left remaining is stomping out after her in that, you, you know how Clarity was marching? Like that, yeah. Um... <laughs> Clarity, she she's used to strength not being her strong suit, so she steps aside as uh, Hazel's trying to rejigger her load. Uh, Frocious <laughs> manages one, but it's a, this is not my quarterstaff. 
it's been an emotionally draining day for him. Keep in yeah. mind, so yeah. he's just okay. I I've, I've been living in this calm ass monastery my entire life. I never realized how much excesses of emotion could tire you out. <laughs> I am now officially wiped. <laughs> This is new, because he used, he used to hold a bit more than that in, in daily chores, so now he's a little distressed, really. Whereas Clarity is looking at them and going, oh, oh give me that, and apart from Hazel's too, she's just got the rest in Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Trump, Trump, Trump. I love it. <laughs> just leaves, um, that just leaves Fruseth with none of them, and Hazel with, like, two that she's kind of struggling with. <laughs> Eventually, you get you get your respective loads back to the, and we'll say first it just picked up her 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 her, her toolbox. Sure, <laughs> that works. And plugged that with some significant difficulty because it's got it's got some fairly heavy tools in there, but he's managing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you you you've got uh, Benson explains Torrens. taken a, another room really probably should have given him another room last night but we were so busy that we kind of didn't think of that but uh, yes, thank you a lot of you and uh, Miss Jenna as always <laughs> yeah, this one I'm not expecting to have to pay for a thing in this place for the next month <laughs> I say, fair enough. I'll lessen it to two weeks if you if you excuse the rest of their tab for as long as they're here this time round. Benson just nods and goes, "I think I think we can about handle that." And says, right, and picks up her, her her load and her toolbox. Thank you very much, and heads up upstairs. <laughs> Are you Benson sure she saying, could lift the entire building if she had to? Probably. Uh, Vincent doesn't say anything. He just, he just, you know, sort of, he, he's clearly pulling old, he's, he's, he's clearly pulling old crockery out to stand in until he can get some stuff that actually matches. Um, <coughs> it is a look. It's crockery that didn't, that you didn't smash. Hey! He's <laughs> <laughs> I... goes over to Darwin and attempts to shove a finger in his ear. <laughs> not when I'm, not when I'm loaded. Sun, sunshine, sunshine! Actually, who's still sitting on top of his head, actually uh, bites Hazel. Just a nip, doesn't break skin. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. He glares at, at Hazel. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I love these dragons. I love these dragons. Hazel briefly mm -hmm. turns interesting colors and just kind of... <laughs> fine. Fine. You get away with it this time. <laughs> Bring your boards. <laughs> they, they eventually get the, get the, yeah. get the load. They just load them. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> situated. You, you do still have the artist to deal with. Froseth, we got... Uh, did, did you want that? Yes. Okay. Then we need to go because I have to pick up mine up. Yeah. So, I mean, does everybody want to go, or...? <laughs> I'll, I'll come along. I mean, you're more than welcome. I'm good for following. Cool. All right. So then I guess off to artist. It's, yeah, it, he, he, he basically has what you'd probably call a market stall if it wasn't so haphazard. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like the market equivalent of uh, that old guy in the rocker on the balcony. <laughs> Except in his case, it's this little rickety wooden table and this equally rickety wooden chair with this basically moth-eaten blanket on four poles that he mostly just sort of sits. And at the moment, he is just sat down, feet up, on, on his little table, which is stained with multiple colors of ink and chalk and pastels and the rest of it. He straightens up as much as somebody that crooked with age 
ever will because as as uh, See, i'm just i'm just rickety table with the rickety chair with the rickety guy sitting there. <laughs> that's basically <laughs> what i'm saying he's he's running a theme yes, for, for for those of you who were not there or did not remember uh, this is a very old full elf the uh, amber skin it, and given that he is full-blooded elf it's he's got to be ancient given how old he looks look up Robin. ah there you are i expected you back fairly much sooner than this my apologies no 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 that's quite all right it gave me time to uh you see your request my lad didn't take some things into account from what I'm hearing and I grant this is only rumors now your mother is no longer with us as you said the boy is putting the image of a woman who has recently passed next to the image of a very young man who has not who's likely to grow and change and you want him to mm -hmm. it's a bad omen oh so first thing he does is he and there's little drawers in his rickety old table opens one pulls out an oval of paper that will fit into his locket on one side and it is the spit of his mother and just given a description he's caught the fact that he's got the you know that darwin has his mother's eyes a uh, bit of the shape of the chin um, the slightly difficult to control hair and it is the image of the woman that uh, kissed Darwin on the forehead and wished him luck before this started. Down to the dress, you have no idea how, but the yeah. shoulders are just the exact same color. And Then he pulls out three other ovals of paper. One is Evan as he is now. Um, yeah, the, the, missing one of his front teeth and the, the hair is a little bit mussy. And, uh, the second is him at what might be 10. It, the, the, the freckles that his mother had are starting to take over the face now. Um, the hair is worn a little bit more like Darwin's imitation, conscious or not. The third is Evan at what might be Darwin's age now. The hair is red as Evan's is, but you know, a perfect representation of, of how Darwin wears his. A little bit more controlled because his hair is less fine. So many freckles. <laughs> but the smile, while it's his mother's grin, there's a slight tilt to it that suggests that part of it's been taken from Darwin, part of it's been taken from Twilly. This is the Evan that is growing up with the hearth hearts. You can replace him as and when you need. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Gives a nod, slides them in your general direction, leans back in his seat, it is pretending not to notice the impending emotional <laughs> breakdown. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Um, Proseth, <clears throat> you, um, <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> Puts a hand on Darcy's shoulder <laughs> to comfort him a bit. I'll be over right here. Angel <clears throat> is going to hug Darwin. Yeah, Sun- Sunshine has moved to Darwin's shoulder and is nuzzling his face. Hazel is applying the hearth heart hugs, so he's getting a bit squished. Just mind Sunshine. Probably approaching from the other side. Doesn't uh, want to get nipped again, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would. I would prefer to. Avoid, uh, yeah, Hazel would would rather n- not be nipped. Would rather uh, not be chewed on. Thank you. Barreras then looks up at at Froseth, going, "I spoke to that other dragonborn. Is this about what I think it is? <sighs> most most likely." The pictures... Uh, does it even have a name? He doesn't know. I... Probably. Ah. An idle curiosity doesn't matter for the image in and of itself. I can, I can ask later on. That one... That one's going to take a little while. I admit... And he, he, he opens another drawer, pulls out a roll of paper, unrolls it, and he started it. Just, it caught my imagination. Yeah. Never heard of a place like it. He looks, the original price was going to be five gold. But as I was already starting it, I don't see any point in hiding that. <laughs> Counts and four of you. I'm gonna say four gold. Is it pretty puts cool? without any hesitation four gold down for him? Hey, he, he looks at Hazel. Clarity, Darwin in turn, decides to leave their internal affairs to their internal affairs, uh, scoops it into Eight. scoops it into a, a third drawer and says, I'll have it done for you f- to pick up around about the rest day roast tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's going to be and, whole and gets and gets to work. He, he, he does the dismissive uh, hand wave away, which Darwin knows. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Just... <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I'd hoped to commission you for something. At which point he looks up. Okay, he looks that's fair. Horrifically <clears throat> impatient. What? Well, take care of Froseth first, but um, if you have time, I'd like for you to draw my brother. <laughs> Thinks about it for a minute. I'll tell you what. Portraiture takes little less time, as this one can tell you. I'll sit down with you at the rest day roast so I can get a description. I just don't want that description coloring this. Oh, definitely. Just come, wanted... come to me tomorrow. Drawing and leads oh. back to his <laughs> And now we all just <laughs> trust me, just come on, come on. Come and on. and so, so, Sunshine um nuzzles Darwin's head again and Froseth hears You're learning <laughs> Remember what you said, but okay, like yes. watching Darwin flailing and just going Oh boy <laughs> <laughs> Look, I only just got that splotch off finally, okay? I'd rather not get another one. Um, yeah, that's, that that that's fair. As you're, uh, as you're sort of uh, heading you know, in the the direction of away from Barreras and trying <laughs> to figure out what's next, um, one of the smaller red um, fairy dragons 
flits up and lands on on Frost's shoulder, turns around to the others and goes, uh, we're going to have to have the pre-dinner fly around pretty soon, but um, I have a message for these guys. And I go, okay. Um, And turns around to Frost and goes, "Um, the paladin lady says she's going to stay overnight at the shrine because there's stuff to do okay. and I don't understand it because the the human gods are weird the, the reds are the youngest so they, it's like talking to Skylar <laughs> <laughs> so I was told to say that if everybody is done with things here you can go home because the singy man has to remember that there's a talk he needs to have with the little one like me. Little red me. I didn't understand. First, it probably does, but... (laughs) The the talk he's got to have with Evan. Yes. This is the only way this little red dragonborn can... And it's a, it's, a, it's but it's time for pocket ventures to be over anyway. And sunshine's like, oh, but I want to stay with the singing man. And like, you can ask mommy lady if you can overnight, but you gotta ask first, or else she's gonna worry. You don't want to worry her, do you? No, but... <laughs> I'm just I'm watching the two of them go back and forth with the hisses and the clicking and everything else, just trying to make some sort of head or tail of any of it, not failing miserably, but... Because yeah. it's not only draconic, it's high-pitched, very different vocal cords draconic, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm just... I'm just... Kind of, I'm following the back and forth, and that's about it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to finish so he can translate. And then the, the red dragon sort of sits sits down on Frost's shoulder, and then says, "Don't worry about the cookies. I got some." Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Nora is spending the night at the temple. So, well, if we don't have Tem- Temples are the big ones, shrines are the little ones. Shrines. And monasteries are for monks. Yeah. So, if we don't have anything left to do in town, we're free to head back. Because she won't be joining us tonight. Okay. Right. Also, I'm supposed to remind you about you having to have a talk with... If I'm understanding the translation properly with with Evan, well, yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, that's actually one of the reasons I was about to suggest at least I go back now because I don't want it to get too late. Yeah. And Sunshine's going. You can ask. You can ask. Please, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and Sunshine wants to stay with you for a while longer, it seems. Uh, sure, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, did, Hazel, do you think anybody at at home would have a... At home? At home. home. Yeah, uh, that's home now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just... <laughs> Sorry. It's... That's home now. You can call it home. Sorry. It, that's... Wow. Sorry. I'm still kind of getting used to that. Uh, anyway, uh, anybody would have an issue? Yes, With a friend? Flitty's, Flitty's over, sort of apparently? Going, Flitty is sort of going, you have to be careful of the moop, of the noopy cat. The noop might take issue, but that's about it. I mean... Cat, remember? Well, yeah. Huh. I could stay on rafters. It'd be okay. The singing man wouldn't let me get hurt. So what? I mean, I'm gonna that... make sure nothing happens to him. But yeah. I mean, in that case, yeah, it's probably fine. And just, just. Be careful new... around the overgrown cat. Right. Well, I mean, that's so, the reason. 
tra translating for the, the fairy dragon. He is okay with you staying with him. Just be careful of the the cat, and of course, make sure it's all right with uh, Lyra. I go. I catch up with you, and and and, okay. and 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 the little red one's great. She said it was okay if they said it was okay. Okay. And actually snuggles up in, in, in Darwin's collar, sort of tickling in, in various spots. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Flitty, uh, the, the, the little red one, um, whose uh, name is apparently Cerise, um, which again is good. She's going to outgrow that name so fast. <laughs> um, head off. And uh, you guys make your way. I'm assuming back to home. Yep. The sunshine, who's clearly hasn't been quite this far out before, um, standing on top of Darwin's head, looking at everything. <laughs> <laughs> on the way back, Hazel's going to veer off the actual road momentarily, ch look in the forest, Perception say, check. boo! Perception and... check. <laughs> hmm? Perception check. <laughs> there it is. I knew there had to be one today. Was my critical tumble. That was a nat one. <laughs> Hazel <laughs> hears this hissing noise, which for one moment she goes, oh no, everything they were saying was actually true, until she looks behind her and realizes that um, the sunshine is having a, a, a conversation with, with Ferseth behind her. It, it, it has, it's actually just just sunshine hissing, which is uh, basically going, where where is the prey lady going? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> So so Hazel is just ah! <laughs> and then turns around and sees that. Why is the prey lady jumping? <laughs> Stomps back out on what? the road. Okay, I'm done. Why is, why is what was that about? Lady, why is the prey lady cross? <laughs> Proving a point. That I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would be more confused except it's Hazel. <laughs> a point <laughs> there's 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 still not there getting a finger there. in the air yes uh first of wasn't there darvin was drunk clarity will remember that this probably has something to do with the the last time she was scaring the wildlife by shouting <laughs> yeah these these would seem pretty safe to me i've never seen anything besides just animals and they're supposed to be there yeah. Mm -hmm. at, at at the moment, sunshine is is hissing at a squirrel, which is chattering fairly angrily at at at, at her, despite the fact that sunshine is actually saying, "Hello, hello, fuzzy. <laughs> why do you not have wings, and why is your tail fluffy? <laughs> You're not a me, are you? You've got no neck." <laughs> God, no. It is just still chattering at him, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> that is the angriest squirrel ever. It's, it's foamy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Maybe not that angry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not it, yelling it, it, squirrely it, wrath. It's 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 not. I mean, it's it's actually now starting to sound a bit more bewildered. In that, if if it if it was if it was speaking in in common or draconic or something, it would probably be, "Will you get out of my forest, you crazy person? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand you. Stop it. <laughs> Go away." <laughs> but no, the the, the the sunshine actually flits up to the leaf, and the, the and the, the squirrel sort of clambers further up, and still hissing. Why are you following me? In, a, in that kind of way, it's like I just want to be friends. 
<laughs> Hello, ugly mutant dragon. <laughs> I like you. Where are you going? Christ. They're going away now. I have to follow them. Sorry, bye. My ass back on top of the I was just trying to make friends. I don't think it understands you. Well, neither does he, but he likes me anyway. <laughs> Why was he going after the squirrel? Trying exactly. to make friends. Oh, well, that's sitting, okay. in a, sitting in a little sulk on top of the Darwin's head. It's okay, I still like you. <laughs> that's actually readily understandable. <laughs> Onwards, then. When they get back to the Hearth Hearts, uh, dinner is in the process of happening, and the, the, the kids have uh, you know, stomped back from their uh, various picnic. Dinner is actually um, baked trout, which Keth is very proudly saying, I done fish dinner! Lissy helped! Lissy was awesome! And Lissy is just quietly sort of shrinking in on herself, but sort of beaming all the same, like, I helped! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hazel trumps right over to Keth and, and, and goes, Nice! And he actually picks up Hazel and spin hugs her a few times. Woo! So it's flying Hazel feet. Flying <laughs> Hazel down. feet. Better than flying Hazel Shoo! hammer. Yeah, but it, 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 it'd be more reminiscent, but Hazel has never swung her hammer with as much control as Keth swings Hazel. <laughs> yeah, three times around so that her feet fly out in sort of you know, helicopter mode and then punk. So that Hazel winds up dizzy. <laughs> he's been Whoa. doing. He's been doing this oh. since she was like, since she first arrived, basically. <laughs> Whoa. Ruffle, ruffles her bow a bit. It? Come on! It takes forever to get that thing straight. And Nora's you not here thought, this time. Jack, oh, is that why it's straighter than it's ever been? Except when Mom and Mama tie it. Because, <laughs> of course, Nora tied it on the road on the way back after first of splashed, them, splashed water in their faces. <laughs> and well, at which was point, Nora. Yeah, I kind of figured. Anyway, we're going to have dinner in, like, 20 minutes or so, at which point uh, Darvin feels latch onto his cap. Hi! Hey, there you are! We went, did, did the fishies! How was it? That was fun! That's awesome. Lucy well, does great with boats. She does. She definitely does. She got Did us here have... and okay. Well, yeah. And so well, then, then this perks back up again and say, Did you have a good day? Yep. I think so. Okay. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Um. I got a question. Mm hmm. What's adoption mean? They said you'd answer. Yep. <laughs> I will. <laughs> and the, the, the kids have, have sort of, as one, reverted back towards the house for their dinner prep chores. Uh, I, I'm going to. And Skylar grab actually. Grabbed, and drag her yeah, away it's, so it's, Darwin it's, can have the private Skylar, conversation. Skylar has actually grabbed first his tent and, and he's grabbed Hazel. So you've got this. Uh, this Hazel was already thing. starting, but then getting grabbed just causes her to almost fall on her face. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Already moving! Oh god! I'm trying to keep Hazel up. <laughs> upright. <laughs> yeah. So basically, this whole. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just watching this massive <laughs> folk just. So is so is, so is Evan. Move on. Evan. Taylor, let me go. And, and and Evan then looks up at at, at at Darwin and he's sort of going. This means this is a real serious conversation thing. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Um, you know, you know, family isn't who you're related to. Not always. Like. Like. Um, and like, 
Miss Twilly Mom Lady and mm -hmm. Miss Miranda Mama Lady are mm -hmm. now kind of your family, and I'm kind of your family, so they're yep. kind of my family. Exactly. That's adopted. Means you're now family. That's all it is. You already knew what it was. Okay. That's the actual word for it. You are oh. family. We are all family. Okay. Is this you saying that I'm staying here? And so are we. So I'm not leaving you. I kind of figured that, but, <laughs> but yes. I, I mean that you're going to go for like, like long, long times and come back mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you can. Exactly. Like mama, like, like, like mama used to do when mm -hmm. uh, she had to go, except she wasn't for as long because smaller place and mm -hmm. you got the whole world because you're going to be heroes. <laughs> yes. And you help. You're part of the reason. You're part of the reason. You're what we're fighting for. We're 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 doing this to keep you safe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your family. Okay. And hugs him around the calf again. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pet. This is sunshine. Sunshine <clears throat> leaning down. So and I'm just going to lean down as far as I can so that Evan can scritch. Yeah, so uh, sunshine butts Darwin on the top of the head and then lands on top of Evan's head. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, Evan's giggling and says, "As this, this this little dragon is actually nosing through Evan's hair and uh, tickling that spot between the 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 ear and the the, the jaw." It's just. <laughs> <laughs> Sunshine, uh, Evan, Evan, Sunshine. Pets. I, I don't. I don't understand any of this, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sunshine wanted to uh, wanted to come with me and and stay overnight. So I thought you might like to meet Sunshine. So I was like all for it. I love Sunshine. <laughs> so do I, actually. Sunshine's adorable. And yes, actually, Darwin will probably remember that that is the exact echo and in the exact intonation that he said it when Sunshine first landed on top of his head. <laughs> and uh, Sun Sunshine sort of uh, looking at Darwin as if you know, he could actually make Darwin understand him for, for from like sheer force of will, lets out a couple of hisses and clicks and just <laughs> clearly wants to say something. If, do you want to stay with Evan? Because I know they can understand Colin. Yeah, there, there's a sort of a nod, but there's clearly more than that. And he sort of, it, it, his wings sort of flap in this sort of throwing up hands in, nah, -uh, not doing this, and then flies into the house. Froseth, who has been, um, has been basically drafted into um, helping deal with the potatoes this time, winds up with sunshine landing on top of his head, and he basically goes... Um, I need you to tell the singing man something for me. Because I can't make him understand. Okay. He's talking about family and things. And you've got little, little, little tiny Nomi boy. And, and, and he, he, he has the people, but they're all the big people. And they're people who take care of him, but he hasn't got anybody to take care of. And what I was going to do, if everybody was okay with it, was that I was going to ask Mommy Lady if I could mostly live here. And uh, I can't, I can't have the singing man, but I can have the singing man's Nomi boy. <laughs> I need oh. you to ask him if it's okay because I can't make him understand. Okay, I'll 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 ask. Thank you. So. And then it, it flies and lands back on 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 Evan's head in this very proprietorial kind of way. I think probably uh, needs to be help with 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 dinner. I'm still mm -hmm. too small to. To, to, to do very much, but I help Oscar set the table and pass well, back for that. that yep. Okay. I'll follow after and see if and I, yeah, where there, I can chip in. There's, 
Yeah, there, there, there's fish that needs to come out of the oven because it doesn't need to be baked for very long. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, there, there's some pretty sizable trout there, um, which have been uh, wrapped in sort of aromatic leaves to bake. So, and and stuffed with like bits of what appear to be what lemons they've got remaining, <laughs> and some garlic cloves, and it's it's all it, it's all simple, but fairly nice homey fare and the usual uh, potatoes and Skylar's still with her it's picking berries and shell peas and Evan's helping Oscar set the table by uh, basically holding um, utensils and plates because he's still a bit too short, short. to actually set the table properly <laughs> one day <laughs> and then things are going to just suddenly appear because that gnome is a ninja <laughs> Teeny tiny gods be damned ninja and a haggler like nobody's business uh, well that's, that's probably going to make Hazel feel a bit better because imagine this one making the deals at market fair for the Hearthheart family <laughs> in any case all, all Darvin knows is that Sunshine looked exasperated flew off and flew back yep so um... So, yeah, I'll approach Darvin and basically tell him what mm -hmm. Sunshine was asking. Uh, yes, wanted to know about uh, staying with Evan indefinitely, if it's okay. Uh, I mean, as long as Evan's fine with it and willing to, I guess, I mean, the dragon will be, need to be taken care of. So, I mean, if Evan can <laughs> handle that. Of course, he knows it's supposed to be the other way around as far as he's concerned. <laughs> we'll call them both, really. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Uh. And you've, 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 you've actually now got Sunshine um, yeah, actually helping by picking up utensils and handing them to, helping hand them to Oscar. And it's actually taking a bit longer, but <laughs> it's so damn cute that no one cares. <laughs> And you've 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 got Twilly going. Um, as long as Lyra's all right with it, and everybody else is fine, I'm fairly sure we can handle a mouth that small. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, in her attempt to restrain herself from actually laughing, ended up emitting a sort of giggle snort. <laughs> Uh, Miranda just sort of uh, pats her on the head, straightens her bow from where Keth has must it, and uh, hands her a uh, basket of rolls. Put the bread on the table, dear. <laughs> right. <laughs> and lo, there was bread. <laughs> oh, and so yes, the question was answered. <laughs> Evan already knew, he just didn't know the actual term. That was all. As, as as dinner happens, um, Evan Evan having finally had that you know, gatekeeper question thing answered is sort of going. Um, <clears throat> there's a thing you see, cause 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 Mama's fine, cause I didn't used to call Mama Mama. I used to call Mama Mama, and everybody calls Miss Miranda Mama Mama. So I don't really know what to call you. Um, I. As long as you don't call me late for dinner, mostly because I'm the one calling people in to dinner in the first place, I don't think that would really be possible. <laughs> Honestly, call me whatever you like. Miss Mom and Miss Mama! And you've got Oscar kind of shrugging and going, um... I I called I called mom mom but I call uh, mom mom now but probably a different thing as I tried Aunt Twilly for a while but it didn't work so well. Yeah, I can see that. Miss Nora, <laughs> I bet could call him that. <laughs> Don't really have to call her Miss Nora anymore. She's practically well, she is family too. You know that. Aunt Nora, that's the one. <laughs> Call her that. Watch her the look on her face, says Kev. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, tomorrow's gonna be interesting. Uh, uh, you He's go, gonna you, turn purple. He's gonna, gonna turn purple. 
you got you get Mella sort of uh, the 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 really dark hey, skin half half elf sort of slide slides over to to clarity and going. Um, is it okay if I think of you more sister than aunt? I would love that. Yay! Thump. Hugs. <laughs> Aww. Cutest home base in existence. There, 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 there. There's generally a certain amount of you know, testing the waters with the uh, with with new family members and. The Skylar seems to have basically gravitated in the in the frozen general direction, because uh, she she's just like really big brother, bigger than Evan. <laughs> Except probably not for very long, because I I Evan says that half orcs get real big. We'll see. You gonna get any bigger? Probably not. Okay. That's probably just as well, because uh, holding your hand is probably hard enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> not as hard as it is for Evan. Not as hard it is as it is for Evan, though. Yeah, but I'm real little and I can stand on people's feet. Or sit on shoulders. Or up, please! <laughs> <laughs> and actually goes 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 to uh, goes for the demonstration because show them. Uh, yeah. Marvin, is he, is he not even listening? I don't think he is. Hello, your what? sound oh. your sound went to hell. Uh, are you hearing us now? Okay, because uh, you had Evan going up, please. Oh. A demonstration of oh mm -hmm. of how we did it at the, you know, the and Skylar is just applauding. I kind of wish I was small enough to do that, and Dan is going, "No, you don't. It's really <laughs> annoying. Down, please." Right <laughs> back, back down. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no, that's cool. Uh, technical difficulties, and I didn't even realize it. Well, let's hope it doesn't. Uh, well, it, let's hope it doesn't last too long in actual recording. No, I don't think uh, it did. I don't think it okay. did. Good. It captures the sound. It's it's a it's a thing that does need to be uh, considered. Yeah. So, and that is there anything anyone wants to bring to the table or any conversation with with anybody that they want to <clears throat> have? Um, You've got you do you do get Miranda uh, putting a hand on on Clarity's shoulder as she's helping clear away dishes and s looks looks at the uh, at the pendant that she's wearing and just quietly says, "It suits you." Thank you for a lot of things. She just gives a nod and uh, Twilly, however, does start with, I know that Froseth is only just starting to work this sort of thing out. We are, believe me, we are so happy to be helping, but we want to know from the rest of you what your favorite things are. And apart from Hazel, we know. <laughs> <laughs> favorite things? Well, I mean, like for example, if you're if you're coming in from from a mission or an adventure or whatever, and um, we 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 want to put together a special sort of dinner for either of you, or uh, favorite colors and sorts of things. If we're doing, for instance, uh, bedding or clothing or anything like that, just just favorite things so we can actually you know maybe spoil you just a little. We do it with our. <laughs> We should be able to do it with you, too. <laughs> I think Noop claimed Clarity and vice versa. <laughs> and Noop, Noop has been on Clarity's lap pretty much since dinner started. <laughs> um, I like books. I like... Um, let's see. Desserts. <laughs> and anything, anything, anything specific, possibly excluding blueberry pie for the foreseeable future. I, to be honest, <laughs> I could probably still go for a blueberry pie now. <laughs> I mean, to be totally fair, they were doesn't... cooked by the best, so yes. they were delicious coming going in, much going out. 
<laughs> that that should be known to everyone. I mean, there's not much that is, so you know, <laughs> it, it stands to reason. What he said. <laughs> um, and um, animals. Clearly, and then and, and, and Mel, Mel is going. You kind of like me then. I like the animals. <laughs> Uh, Sunshine doesn't count because he's not really an animal. He's sort of animal-shaped people. Well, I like animal-shaped people as well. You should have seen the squee face. <laughs> Can I pet him? That, 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 that is the only reason why it's kind of a shame that Clarity didn't actually get to go to the shrine. Hopefully they'll be able to schedule a, a trip there for, uh, I mean, they'll, they'll probably want to, to talk to Lyra any bit, anyway about one of her darlings being rehomed. <laughs> but just imagine Clarity surrounded by 11 fairy dragons. Oh, it's enough hands. <laughs> Never enough. Perched on horns. You know. <laughs> and what about you, Darwin? Any, uh... Well, I mean... God, no one's ever really asked me that. I mean... I've kind of been on the road. You know, I mean, yeah, there was stuff at home, but, you know. That's it, why you're asking. I know. Because we do actually care, you know. Come on, out with it. Well, I mean, colors, I like, well, I mean. I mean, you know, there's. I don't even know. Jesus, I've not really given it much thought. Um, I mean, just you don't have a and... favorite color. Uh, well, I mean, I generally, at least on the road, I use unless I'm actually performing, I generally stick with you know browns because they were easy and not know. very expensive. Says exactly. Miranda. Exactly. To be to be to be fair though, and she. Looks starving up and down for a minute. And says, Zana, you want to show him? And she, she, she's the, the little gnome girl gives this little, little happy, really excited nod and pads off. Pads back with this sort of cloth wrapped bundle and hands it to him. I made this. Okay. Unwraps it. And it's this. It's sort of an indigo color velvet ooh, ooh, sort of outer ooh. jacket. Um, very pale gold um, uh, stitching, uh, which have also been used to coat the buttons. So it's not actually metal buttons, but it's probably wood or acorn cap um, with this uh, pale gold embroidery thread on it in a little uh it it's not a very it's not a very big or impressive pattern as it is but it's just a sort of a trim um outlining the uh, outlining the seams that where it would look best and a little bit of extra double edging around the collar it's something to be worn on warmer day on colder days and probably at night, you know, either for performances or mm. because it's dark enough when you maybe don't want to be seen quite so much. I mean, the the embroidery thread isn't exactly going to catch light, and it could just be a, you know a, a trick of shadows if you're really needing to stealth. And Zana is just sort of you know, looking and going, "Mama, help!" Well, Mama taught me anyway. She's got she's got cleverest hands. I love it. It is. It is one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen. 
we kind of thought because uh, you you've, you've got this thing where we kind of thought purple but purple dyes are really expensive so we 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 did as best as we could with the blue dyes that we had and some other bits of juices and skylar was just sort of going i picked the strawberries <laughs> wonderful i love it and thank you all so very much and there 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 there's there's, there's a little kind of hug pile <laughs> At which point, Easy. this, you asked me what my favorite thing is, this is it. The kids don't 100% understand that, but they, they, they get the general gist. William Miranda, William Miranda just sort of go, we are, however, going to find you favorite favorite dishes and that sort of thing, just so that we have something that we can treat you with when you come home okay i mean it's been a while since i mean yeah we did meals you know and, and mom had things made but and it was kind of fancy uh, but i mean we tend is... a little less towards the fancy I exactly think. and this is this is different this is I mean, it's not like she didn't care. Better than fancy. She did. She did. But she didn't do it herself. You know what I mean? Uh, we, 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 we get the general idea. Yes. So this is like, I mean, this is whole, this is new to me. All of this. I mean, I love it. It's great. But it's, so I'm not really, you say favorite, uh, all of this. <laughs> All of this is. This is this the three. Is. The three of you will find things. And there's no rush. We just wondered if there was anything so that we could. There was start one thing. immediately. Hmm? There was one thing actually. I've the 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 cider that we had at the bar. I don't know about anybody else, and I've, I, I, I don't remember having anything like it before, but it, that, in, a, in drink form, felt like home. <laughs> Twilly, Twilly just starts giggling, and Miranda says, it's funny you should say that. Though the, the reason you probably wouldn't have tasted it before and why maybe it does taste of home to you is that given where you grew up, there's probably only one place you've ever tasted some of the spices in that. In our cooking. We gave him the recipe <laughs> and Condred provides him with the spices. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you didn't even see that coming, did you, Darwin? Nope. <laughs> you never see it coming here. Oh, Lord. Remember, we are the most well-traveled people in town. I love you all. The, 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 the kids are the first ones to start with, We love you too! Foomp! And the entire <laughs> clan just foomp! Ah! <laughs> Failed X truck. Fump. <laughs> <sighs> we win. <laughs> and you know, unless anybody else has anything that they want to do, say, pull Mom? someone aside for. Mama. Hmm. The got a minute. I think we can manage if um, Darwin and Clarity and Forsyth wouldn't mind uh, doing the supervision of, of the dishes this time mm -hmm. around. This mm -hmm. is, I'm, I'm sorry, we wouldn't ask, but this sounds important. Mm. Got it covered. And they, 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 they very quickly point out where all the, the dishes and things go. There are no actual leftovers this time around because there, there, there was a fairly limited amount of fish, so. <laughs> and they, 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 they head to the, uh, to the little vestibule where the kids, uh, mm -hmm. where the, where the kids uh, hang their coats, wherever you, you get 
the, the kids before bed are apparently going, or apparently, um, some of them are doing uh, pretendy games. So you've got uh, Kath sort of going, you know, for, basically pretending to be, you know, Froseth from some of the stories he's been hearing about, you know, it's, it, 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 go, go, apparently they're going to be defending one of the haystacks from bandits. So you've got <laughs> Kath, you've got Kath wielding what probably used to be a hoe as a quarter staff, <laughs> and you've got <laughs> Rasan uh, with a thin stick he's using as a rapier, and um, <laughs> it, 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 it's a beating on his thigh like a drum, and you've got Mela, um, who's you've got some little sticks. And she's apparently she's apparently going to be clarity in, in all of this. And Skylar has a pot lid for a shield and a wooden spoon for 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 a one handed warhammer. And she is going to be Nora. <laughs> and uh, and Zana has taken the, the the big broom. And she's 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 going to be Hazel. So every so often you hear Zana screaming. Bah! <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, Clarity's sort of anxiously chasing after them, going, "No actual hitting! No actual hitting!" What you eventually see is because they're not attacking each other; they're <laughs> um, they're 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 basically they've designated like the occasional fence post or a small tree or another haystack. <laughs> okay. And it's 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 kind of it's kind of hysterical because you do uh have every so often you've got Zana sort of landing face first in, in one of the haystacks and and you that then you've got Skylar going, What have I told you about that? And it really is <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> Somehow they've managed to pick up the gist somehow. <laughs> Anyway, uh, while 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 this is going on, and probably once dishes are done, you've got you, you guys could actually be audience to oh, uh, yeah. the, the the playing pretend. Put some more wrist into it with the rapier. Come on. <laughs> At which point you get Rasan going? You want it? You gotta teach me. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> Hell, if mom and mama say it's all right, why not? Ah, you'll have to ask about that later. Anyway. Oh, boy. How much does land cost? Honestly, at this precise point, like everything else, price for land goes up over time. We haven't bought any in quite some while. And as I think you're aware, and Twilly is mm. kind of not not wanting not wanting not wanting to touch this because she knows how Hazel gets, but Miranda's much more practical about it. And as you know, you never get the same value when you sell as when you buy. So we don't know. I imagine that if the taxes have been going up as much as they have, the price of land would go up in a commensurate sort of way. Mm. Hazel, you have bigger things to think about. Yeah. Everyone's been saying that. Are they smart people? Yeah. You trust them. Mm-hmm. Then if they're saying it's going to be all right, and if we're saying it's going to be all right. Hazel, we know this is your home. This is their home too. I don't know exactly what the situation has been with Furseth, but he's gone from relatively friendly but distant to acceptance in a in a such a short period of time that while yes we've said that it that's how it can happen 
we're assuming something's changed. Clarity. I've met very few people who need a home as much as Clarity does, unless it's Darwin. We've... Nora is probably the only one of you that doesn't need just a home at all, and even she probably needs one closer to. They have as much invested in this place as you do. The only difference is length of time. Mm. If they ask them what this place means to them, if it will reassure you. But do you really think that they are going to let anything happen to it? Do you think we will? Mm -hmm. You need this place, and so do we, and so do they, pointing in the general direction of out where there's giggling and laughing. <laughs> Go talk to them. And Twilly hugs Hazel. We, we do appreciate the thought, dear, but right now, we're not going to be very safe if the world ends around us, are we? And they nudge her in the direction of out. So you, you guys, you guys get Hazel with that expression on her face. Oh dear. Uh, Hazel. Okay. All right. I'm I'll take you. I'll asking, take you at your word. I'm not, even, I'm not even asking for an insight check at this point. However, I'll take you at your word. I mean, yeah, I've been better, but okay. Well, I mean, if you want to talk, I'm here. It's the thing I've been going on about all day, the, the land thing, the, the forest mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. I worry, you know. Yeah, it, it, so do I. I uh, know you do. I've got a AFK for a second, guys. Okay. And just... Guess I just needed another reminder is all. Look, and you look, this is something that I thought I lost. I'm not losing it again. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. When we're gonna make sure of that for everyone here. No one's ever losing this place, no matter what happens. Not without going through all of us. And then some. So, I mean, I understand the worry, uh, but we got it. We got this. Mm. Yep. And Star Coast is going to regret starting shit. <laughs> that too. Assuming that there's anybody in Star Coast with the mental faculties to uh, regret much of anything, but okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hey, <laughs> I'm not going he there. He just means the entire metaphysical aspect of the town in general. Okay. Um, my mom's here, so I yeah, think well, I have we're, to... Yeah, well, we're, we're, we were about to wrap up anyway, so... Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we will... We'll, uh, we will have a further discussion about what mm -hmm. we're going to do about next session. It's looking like um, if we can start later on the 4th, that might be a good option. But obviously, we know that, um, that Lindira needs to double check. So if you can get back to us as soon as possible, it'd be great. Yeah. But um, one way or another, we are not going to have an, a whole month without a... Uh, because we'd actu we're actually looking at starting journeys next and doing stuff that it's going to be great. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. And I'll verify uh, the holiday, sch holiday schedule with uh, at work as well. Okay, great. Uh, but right. let's, 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 let's let Anthias go. I gotta Bye, go, all. Go, go. Bye all. Thanks guys. Bye.